Picture this, I'm a bag of dicks, put me to your lips, I am sick, I will punch your baby bear in his shit, give me lip, I'ma send you to the yard, get a stick, make a switch, I can end the conversation real quick, I am crack, I ain't lying, kick a lion in his crack, I'm the shit, I will fall off in your crib, take a shit, get your mama on the booty, kick your dog, fuck your bitch, that boy dressed up like you said, I'll add two pictures with your kids, we the best, we will cut up Ronnie face in your chest, little wench, I'ma mention up, we fresh, I'm a Get correct, I will walk into a court while they wreck Screaming, yes, I am guilty, motherfuckers, I am dead Hey, you wanna hear a good joke? Nobody speak, nobody get choked I'm coming, I'm the dumbest Who flame through your fuck shit, the Funyuns Claim your crew quicker than Trump fucks his youngest Your face to flame fuck is your fame and fake coming I'm all Charlie Brown, Peppermint, Patty, Linus, and Lucy Put coke in the doobie, roll woolies to smoke a Snoopy I still remain that dick rabbit slacker to spill the wookie Cause the total of the tootie will murder you friggin' moolies Fuck out of here We top billing it, valiant without billing it, viciously found victory. Burn towns and villages, burning loot and pillaging. Murder was shot of hurt as we curse them and all the children. I just want the bread and bologna bundles to tuck away. I don't work for free, I am barely giving a fuck away. So tell Big and Johnny and Mommy to get the fuck away. Hey, yo, here's a gun, son, now run, get it the gut away. Live to shoot another day. Hello, Tony, my stallion. How are you tonight? You the only one up and about this evening? I fell asleep in Pinky's room. I was watching her while I was eating my dinner and I just fell asleep. Just passed the fuck out. Oh, Lord. What a day it was today. Hi, Kettle. How are you? What are you doing up? I don't know. I don't know where everyone's at. I mean, it is midnight Pacific time. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Like I said, I passed out. I don't know. Maybe they're all having like a little private coup or something. And how the fuck would I know? I don't spend my time worrying about what the fuck everybody's doing. If I did, I'd be nuts. I could give a shit less. Honestly, I don't care if it's just you and Kettle in here. It doesn't really matter to me. Although I do appreciate everybody that comes out and hangs out with me. That's for sure. Hey, Smokey. What up? Hey, Ruffers. How are you guys doing? Good morning, Ruffle. My little Ruffer Duffer. And Smokey. You're making cookies, Kettle. Aw. Yeah, it's too late for me. It's midnight. I can't be tinkering around in there. Everybody will be pissy at me. And I don't want that. I just don't want that. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. 
I got this new weed my daughter brought me. So I thought, I know that Glinda probably won't be here. I think she went to bed. So I thought maybe we could smoke some weed together. What do we got? We got Hindu Zittles. We got, what's this one? This one is, what do we got here? Fuck, I can't even read it. Creeps. Three times diamond encrusted. Oh my god, that one's gonna knock me on my fucking ass. Hi, Joe, what up? What's this one? This one is Banana Daddy. So, I got three new strains to try out because my daughter loves me. So, I thought maybe I would hang out with you guys. What up, that dude? I don't know. You're asking the wrong fucking person. I didn't even know Alvaro got that. No fucking clue what the fuck he's sad about. Does Alvaro even have feelings? I'm just curious. I mean, let me know that, dude. Because, like, as far as I can tell, he doesn't have any emotions whatsoever. It's just kind of a trolly motherfucker. All right, Joji. Happy birthday, sugar. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. Who are you, Becky? Why do I know you? I'm not like into like people showing their dick on my stage. I don't know who you are. Darling, I've never even seen this profile before. So if I don't know you and you're not going to tell me who you is, I don't know what to tell you. Yes, what? I don't know. Like, I'm just up here smoking tonight, okay? Nothing, nothing big. Strat on my birthday, huh? Ruffy, ruffy, don't get droopy face. Like, if I have to start this up and then, I don't know who that is. I, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you here before. I literally just start the stream. I know if I let this fool up, he's probably going to porn bomb my ass. And I have no idea why. Uh, yeah, my terrible singing because I just woke up. That's funny. Gracias, gracias. Oh, you're going to need that? <laughs> I wouldn't sit around waiting for that, darling. I sure the fuck wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't count your fucking... Uh, I wouldn't count your fucking P's and Q's that that's going to happen, sir. I didn't do anything to Alvaro. The only thing I did to Alvaro is not let him fucking talk over me the entire time. It's not his fucking show. And I got sick of it. I listened to four hours of fucking people screaming at each other about shit that had nothing to do with me. So, I don't really give a fuck about where I was fucking upset or not. I don't even think he has emotions. Truth is, is Alvaro should apologize to me for all the fucking bullshit he pulls on my channel. Gracias. Gracias, sir. Hi, Merman. Sorry, I passed out. I was in Pinky's room and I fell asleep and I passed out like fucking hours later, dude. I don't know who it is. Do you know who this cool boy is, Merman? Oh, uh -huh. I don't know him. I don't either. I'm not picking on anybody. Nobody's picking on I, anybody. What are you talking about? 
I don't want to fight with anybody. I, I, I'm in no. Hey, you know what, cool boy? I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you're giving me demands backstage. But that's certainly not the way to fucking get on my stage. I don't know who you are. I'm not letting you up on my panel. If that's a problem for you, just leave. I don't know who you are, and I have no interest in entertaining somebody who's being weird backstage and demanding shit from me. Aren't you good at technology? Yeah, I'm great at fucking technology. That has nothing to do with you hiding yourself, dipshit. You can be whatever you wanted in this YouTube chat. Nobody gives a, you know, nobody's checking on that. YouTube doesn't verify you that you're a real person. They don't know if you're a porn bomber or not. What does that mean if he's a cool boy? That's what his name is backstage, is cool boy. But what does that mean? But, it, but cool it's a girl's name that it's actually under, where it's verified under YouTube. It's a girl's name. And then it's a boy that's on behind stage. But it's a girl's name that's verified through YouTube. So that makes me very fucking suspicious. Oh. Yes. If you hit the three buttons, it's got a different name. It's got a girl's name. But backstage, it's a boy and it's named I'm Cool Boy. Hey, Mark. I'm wearing my funny glasses. Tonight. Lisa Damn D. Hello. I'm just gonna warn you right now. I'm I've been drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking too. I I have it, but I'm glad you guys have been drinking. But I'm gonna smoke some weed right now. Tranny lover. I don't I'm, I don't like tranny. Fucking hate. Where have you been? Damn, I miss hey, you. Hey, hey. Hello, everybody. Big, Big Ben Bittner vlogging and gaming. What up, Big Ben? Ding dong. Everybody wish uh, Joe a happy birthday. Happy oh, birthday, Tesh. Joe. Tesh, why are you here, Tesh? Who's happy birthdays? It's your mother's Gmail address. Well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I can't help you. I don't know who you are. It's very suspicious. And then you're like, don't you know technology? In fact, I do. That's why I know exactly why I shouldn't let you up. <laughs> But you can try to insult me all you want. It's not going to happen. And certainly right. not going to get you up on my panel. Yeah. Hi, Danny. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Hi, Danny. Danny, I watch your stuff all the time, honey. I just don't know much about sports. I really don't have any commentary on sports because I really don't do shit. Hi, Mark. Hey, Shannon. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm doing good, sweetheart. How are you? I'm great. Hello. What's up, Merman? How you doing, Lisa? Woo! I'm doing Woo! good. Thank you. That's great. I heard you had a few cocktails tonight, right? A few. Just huh? A okay. Once a week, maybe twice a week. Ah, uh, shut up. You're a damn alcoholic. You drink every day. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nah. Woo! You know, where, are you, where are you from, Mark Shark? I'm from of course Alabama. I miss you, Incognito. Mark, Mark, Terry. That's Tesh, Lisa. Nice to meet you, oh. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Yo. Do you know some dude called Cool Boy backstage? No, he's the porn bomber. Don't let that motherfucker up. That's let what I that thought. motherfucker up. Yeah, he's a porn right. bomber. He's the real cool boy is all right, but that's not him. I promise. Well, this guy, this this guy's calling you out by nobody's name. looking. And <laughs> let me see backstage. He's a white guy with a hat on. There's nothing wrong. Well, bring with him it. up if it's the real cool boy. Bring him up. I don't know that it is, but they're saying your last name. Yeah. He's saying that he's better than you. Oh, fuck Ooh. him. He ain't no better oh, than me. What's he better shit. at? What's he better at? He ain't better at fucking YouTube. Yeah. I got 180 some people in the channel right now, and I'm on fucking mute. I've been on ah. mute for 30 minutes. <laughs> fuck them. Woo! Cool boy. This is this is a white white boy with a black hat. A white socks hat. 
No, it's it's turned turned around backwards. I'm just telling you, if it's if it's cool boy, he will porn bomb you. You said he's not gonna porn bomb me. Well, let him up then. Oh, maybe. Let, let's see. Screen. Let me take a picture of his face. You got. So you you, you got to be careful on. with these these internet people. They're crazy, man. We're all crazy. He fucking porn bombs mm-hmm. me. I'm gonna have to start up my stream and restart it again, which I don't really care. But it's just the point of the matter. It's so insulting. It's not just insulting. It's a waste of time. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Really. I don't think he's gonna porn bombs. No. Your audio is fucked. Oh, there we go. It's better now. There we go. That fixed it. Yeah, Mark Cherry, how you doing, dude? I'm, I'm good, man. How you being, cool boy? Do you think it screwed up? Did you, Mark Cherry? No, I, I didn't know if it was you or not. I thought it was a girl, the way she was talking about how it authenticated. I thought it was a boy. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. I don't either. Got a girl last name. You got a girl last name, man. But you're yeah, saying you're cool, cool, boy. I don't want. I don't want to get doxxed. I don't want my shit to get doxxed. You rather have your of. mother get doxxed? My mother's dead. This is a yeah. fake account. Where are you from? Damn, Dude. Merman wants to know where everybody's from. Shannon, he documenting this shit. Yeah, Detroit, <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> Detroit, Woo! Michigan. D town, oh. dude. Oh, the the line is going to take a step back, motherfucker. Cool boy. What? North the of Detroit Lions going to take a step back. They may host the NFL draft, but they ain't going to. They go did good this year. Fucking yeah, like no, that. They, they made the playoffs. Oh, and they did cool. good. Dude. Why, Ruffy, did you get married? Sorry, you guys. I was talking cool to Cool boy. You. I'm north of Detroit. You don't want me to camp up tonight. Man. Oh, so you're you're in the you're in the sixth then. You're She's in in, are you land. in New Holland? Uh, you... Not that far north. <laughs> are you in New Holland? <laughs> Lisa, are you in New Holland? Do you know BK Whopper? Nope. I am in uh, Macomb. As long as you're not in Flint. I don't know I'm in the Macomb. Those Flint um, motherfuckers are fucked up. County. Yeah, because I'm they got bad drinking County. water. That's why. Bye, it's, Marky. It's, it's, yeah, they have, they have lead in their blood, dude. Not Flint. I'm not near Flint. Thank God. I'm in Combe County. That's bad w- drinking water. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Okay. Hey, Jenny, I guess uh, VB ducks the fuck out of my kids today on her fucking channel. Oh, no. That's yeah. low shit. That, to mess with children is low as fuck. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, my kids are adults, but I guess she docks the fuck out of her today. Her and my son on her channel. That's crazy to me. Very evil. Leave the kids out of it, adults or not. If you want to come after Shannon, come after Shannon. Yeah, well, that's just the way they are. I I guess. Guess. Yeah. Smoke you. <laughs> Shannon, I are you single right now? Who me? Oh, I'm a yeah. single nerd in the world, yes. Oof. I think you're very I think you're moving forward. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Your mic went weird. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm not sorry. ignoring you, Ingo, Shannon. You know, I'm just playing. Yeah. I think in the you're. Background. I think you're a beautiful woman. Thanks, cool you're boy. S- That's very nice super, of you. You're super intelligent, also. That's fucking crazy. Why is that? Crazy? I don't know about that. I'm here, big guys, so I can't be that fucking smart. <laughs> but <laughs> that is you very kind of you to say. Very smart. Hey, Silky Smooth. That's a, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you for saying that. Exactly. I appreciate it. Smoky. I'm really not that's good at taking compliments bad. because I'm a fucking dork in real in reality. But I, I really appreciate dork, that. Nice dude. Words. Thank you. What mental really asylum are you? You're awesome. I listen to you every night. What'd you say? Do you really, cool boy? I'm flattered. What'd you say? It's nice, because I never really have shit to say. <laughs> I was making a joke. What mental asylum are you in? <laughs> Right, no. my man. Because the pro Arkham Arkham Asylum, dude. There I'm the new Joker. Arkham. Nice. I likes it. I likes it. And uh, Shannon Ray. will be my new. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the Joker's wife's name? Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Yeah. Shannon. 
Yeah, Harley Quinn. You know, they're coming out with a new Joker movie. I don't know if you see that, saw that. Lady Gaga's Yeah, we could go see the Joker movie. Over. Then during Halloween, we could dress up like the Joker, and you could be my Harley Quinn. What do you think about I, that? You know, I think, I think what we should dress up is, like, uh, you can be Captain Jack Sparrow, and I'll be your fucking pirate uh, person. That sounds yeah, awesome. Yeah. I yeah, that. I got one leg. Well, I you a lot, it. Shannon. Shannon, you're so smart. You're so <laughs> beautiful. You have to maximize the costume. Either that or we'd have to be like zombies or something because oh, I'm really. missing part of my leg, you know? So that'd yeah. be perfect. We're going to be maximizing a pair of my like, shoulder. <laughs> for the Halloween costume. Shannon could be um, Captain Morgan. Yes. Captain, 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 well, Captain, big Captain, bottle, Captain Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Hey, New Zealand. Hey, how are you? Do you know I saw some of the ruins that were caused by Captain Morgan in Panama? That's crazy. Very I interesting. Did, I did on a cruise in 2013. You know what's wild, Jenny? Is um, <clears throat> I was sent a fucking goddamn email. Uh, that Jay-Z went up tonight and they took a screenshot of everybody that was on there and everybody fucking in Jay-Z's dream were like my old fucking friends and they fucking knew fucking that VV did that and she let them all fucking up there. She did not give one fuck. I, I don't even know. Like, I mean, that's so fucked up, you know? I mean, regardless if people are friends or not anymore, Fucking, if you know somebody's fucking directly docks the shit out of fucking people and you just fucking sit up there because you're that fucking pathetically desperate, that's fucked up, dude. dude Seriously. Doxers, doxing is getting, it's going to a next, the next level. As I'm, I'm telling sure. you. It's bad. Well, it's it's such good. a fucking disgusting fucking human being for doing that. Disgusting human being to involve my children. Completely disgusting. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And they all just sit there next to her like it's fucking no big deal. No big fucking deal. Yeah, well, fuck you all. Let's see what happens to you. Karma's a bitch. Seriously, a fucking bitch. I don't have to do anything. Just remember that when she's doing it to you guys. Just remember these that. people, give me their names. Give me their fucking alts. Oh, no, I wouldn't even do them. I, they, I, I don't need... You know what, sweetheart? I don't even care. I just... I just want people to understand that you sit next to people that do stuff like that and you don't fucking say anything and you call them your friends and whatnot. Don't worry. They're coming for you next. They've already tried. So good luck with that. Your children aren't safe either. Nothing's safe. They'll just go under alts. You're, you're crazy. Don't ever expect any fucking courtesy from me. Don't ever contact me about that person Ever fucking again when she goes fucking nasty on you. You, her and the other fucking person that docks me all the time and drops videos. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys oh. over there for fucking standing for it. Fuck you guys for fucking pretending to be your fucking decent people. You guys are trash bags. You're fucking trash bags. I don't know how many times I stood up for you guys when your fucking families were being fucking doxxed. But fuck you all. Seriously, you guys all deserve each other. I can't wait to watch you guys all fucking fall to pieces. Seriously. And I feel sorry for your children because you know what? You're all going to fucking eat each other. You're disgusting, filthy people to allow that. Seriously. Disgusting, filthy people. I'm so glad that I am so far away from each and every one of you. Honestly. Fucking sick fucks. Alia. Trash. Total trash. Total I can help you. I can help you find these people. What I don't need. I know where they all are. The person that doxed me, I know her name, her phone number, her address, her children's name, the name of her husband. <coughs> I know where she's fucking. I lived. can destroy I these where, people. I know her parents' names. I know everything about her. I just don't. Why do they do this like that. to you? Why do they do this to you? Because they're she's, jealous, she's, fucking nasty. She's bitch. entertaining and beautiful. Like what the fuck are these people even talking about? Well, okay, the person that put up the stream, she didn't do anything to me. She just allows them to fucking be there knowing full well what the fuck they do. And I just think it's fucking disgusting. I think it's disgusting that anybody would talk to anybody after seeing that fucking kind of behavior. 
I, I, I would never do that. This is why Rusty isn't fucking allowed on my place because I don't give a shit who that she's fucking doxing. You don't do that. You don't do that to people's families. You don't fucking do that. And you know what? They made a fucking point to fucking go over there and fucking, you know, act like nothing was fucking wrong. Okay. Okay. That's fine by me. They need to respect the children. Oh, they don't. None of them do. None of them do. Not a fucking one of them. It's not just children. It's family. Mothers, mm. husbands, whatever. That's. I mean, that's totally fine. Because what's going to happen is they're going to get fucked. And I'm going to watch it happen. Because that fucker is poison. She's always been fucking poison. They always will be fucking poison. Whatever, dude. I'm going to watch it fucking die. And I'm going to sit there. Because you don't do things like that to people and their families. And think that there's no consequences for it. And you certainly don't fucking support it either. <coughs> and if you do, it may not be that my children that they care about. But when it happens to you or one of your close friends, you're going to fucking care. Trust me. And I'm going to fucking Shannon, laugh. Shannon, calm down. Uh, like, are you in attack right now? No, they fucking... I, I was I just got an email about it right now where fucking everybody and their fucking mother fucking up there that fucking have done me wrong fucking and they're just sitting there fucking sticking their fingers up their buttholes. So whatever. Hey Tony. Shannon. There's one person honestly. in particular I'm pissed at because I'm, just, I'm here to hit on you, Shannon. I think you're like the hottest woman on you on YouTube right now. <laughs> Thanks, cool boy. When's the last time you've been to the optometrist, baby? Hmm. A couple months ago, why? Because <laughs> I think your eyesight might be off, but I love you. It's a sweet why thing. Why is my say. eyes saw off? He's trying to be nice. I know he's a sweetheart, but I'm not the hottest woman on the planet, but that is very sweet of you to say. Oh, you're saying my my, my vision's kind of fucked up. I got to put glasses on. Yeah, she's off. saying you have you're saying you glasses don't think, on. You, you don't think... I thought you're the hottest woman with my natural vision. No, you are. It's no joke. One of my OG people, Janny. You don't. I know really, them. I really like you. Can we like? Can I take you out for a cup of coffee sometime? That's very. How old are you, even, cool boy? Thirty-six. Oh, oh. baby, I'm so old. Ah. I'm way too no, old for you. No, how you're not that much older than me. Yes, I'm forty-eight. I love older women. I'll be 49 in September. I'm way too I was trying to, I was trying to deal with an OnlyFans model that liked me. He was 28. She, way too young. Can't deal with that. I like older women. <laughs> Baby, you need you need somebody your age that has eggs and no, ovaries. I, 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 don't want, I, don't, you know, I don't want to reproduce anything. You should reproduce. Want. That's the best part of fucking being with somebody is reproducing. Damn. Well, we could be together and maybe I can reproduce. Maybe we can figure out how to do that. Maybe I don't want to reproduce. Like Shit, my, my, you're what 36. You, you my oldest son else? is 33. My oldest son is fucking three years younger than you, baby. That might be weird. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's really fucking yeah. weird. <laughs> but you're adorable. But you're not against it, right, man? Oh, yeah. No, I, don't. I won't date anybody. Practicing that young. is one thing. What's your age limit for dating guys? Five years. What, what's the age? Five years. Okay, so a guy's, a guy's got to be... How old 43. are you, cool boy? How old are you, cool boy? I said 36. 36. Did you hear that? You don't have though. no gray in your Thanks beard. Thanks for making an old lady feel good. That's very nice of you, darling. You're going to get brownie I points think. in heaven for that. You don't I have listen no gray to you beard. every no night. Beard. <laughs> I can see it. No gray in that beard. I don't. No, I, I, I'm I, looking I at his face. Gray. I knew he was young. He looks like my son's age. My son's 33. So, but, 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 I but look Shannon, much younger than I am. Shannon, I don't. I don't. I don't have gray hair, and I have a full head of hair. I don't have any gray hair either. Gracious. Shannon, to speak from experience, yeah, Shannon, the first you're place you're hot. You're hot, Shannon. The first Thanks. place, the first place that men get gray hair is, is in the in the goatee. If you have a goatee, yeah, I noticed that, and yeah. I love that. I love the gray hair in this. That's the first beard. place I think you that's get gray so hair. Adorable. But and the front the, of your hair, right there, I love that too. 
that's the first place you get gray hair as a man in is in the goatee in the middle of the goatee what the fuck are you talking about yeah it's not true you're saying things that are not true a lot of people that or, or i'm speaking from my experience because i'm pretty your sad. experience yeah i think most people get gray hairs on top I don't of their head right here in my head in my head i just i don't want to go bald that's my fucking i don't ever want to go bald well the worst thing. i don't have gray hair in my hair but it's in my goatee oh oh yes. yeah no i'm sure you're experiencing yes sir but don't shannon smoke. i'm okay i like to talk yes to you. darling to you behind the scenes shannon well, cool boy, that is email. very, very kind of you to offer, but I don't talk to anybody behind the scenes. I'm a prickly old lady who's been hurt very badly by relationships. I'm a, on the, I'm a prickly young man that's been hurt badly. So I, like, don't fuck I don't with even, I'm not even really online. on Discord. Besides, darling, I'm dying and I'm missing a leg and uh, I'm you not. You are not dying. You are not dying. Shannon, <laughs> I, think, I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Shannon, well, you, cool. That is a very nice thing to say. Shannon, you are you. not. Shannon, you are not dying. Don't say that. Okay, I won't say it, Merman, but it's the truth. Shannon, um. Yeah, that dude. How'd you know? Me and Chris Hall, we're a big hot item, dude. May I ask Shannon? Um. Huh. Do you like a, a large penis or a small penis? Oh wow. This um, is um, I prefer a penis that is one I'm in love with. So, you know, like, I mean, it doesn't really have yeah, to have. I have that. Right. I have that, Shannon. I don't care if it's <laughs> cut or uncut. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Besides, it's I'm not going to have a penis. It's so, perfect. It's perfect. No. You know? Men are always insecure about their wieners. I'm not. Uh, well, that's funny because you could have a great <laughs> fucking, you could have a huge dick and be and suck in bed, or you no, have a it's not great huge. bed. So it's, it's perfect looking. It looks perfect. Yeah. Hi, Indy baby. How are you? Yeah. Hit me up in the DMs. Hey, Ghost Fear, are you upset at me? Oh, I didn't yeah. do anything to you. I think you got upset at me. I don't know what happened. I, was Shannon, I would I then. would just love to take you oh, out. We could do a concert. A concert. No, honey, I don't do concert. Hey, Shannon, no, I wanted to You don't like to have fun, Shannon? You don't want to have fun. No, I don't like people touching me or things like she that. No. Do well in a mosh pit. I, I would make touch sure nobody you touches you, Shannon. If you were over again. I I like in my old in my old age, like I don't like people like dumping beer. I don't go to bars. Not I, don't, I don't do you're things like that. I shit. do appreciate music. I fucking love music, but I do you know I've never even been to a rock concert before. I've, I've been to six concerts my Maybe. seventh. My seventh I, concert, I saw Bruce Springsteen. I saw Violet Fems yeah. at the Rainbow Room. Which wasn't really Violet a concert. Violent Femmes Rule. Violent Femmes Rule. That's a good band. It was an impromptu pop-up. Way back in the fucking, oh my god, 90s? Early 90s? This is when yeah. they came to the Rainbow Room? I All saw right, them well, there. Yeah. It wasn't a concert. It was just a pop-up. They just decided to get up on the stage and start playing. Because it was like open mm -hmm. mic night. They were there. That's what happened. But And I think when I was... Eight or nine, I uh, went to a Kenny Rogers concert with my fucking parents. Kenny Rogers room. Yeah. You my like mom saw Elvis. Old. My mom saw Elvis back in the day. Is she, nine, is she 100 years old? Who's no. seen Elvis? No, this was in the sick in the 60s. How old is your mom? In, the, in, her, in her early 80s. Is she still with us? Yeah. I look after her. Congratulations, man. I want to look after Shannon when she's too old. I want to tell uh, you. Listen. I'm already too old. Come look after me. Hey, cool no, boy. you're not. Fuck cool you, boy. Shannon. You're I'm a hot, a cool boy. sexy woman. Hey, cool boy. I'll I'm tell you the concert. Boy. Cool boy, I'll tell you the concerts I've been to. Orgy, okay. Tegan and Sarah, Ariana Grande, Billy Joel, Charlie XC. Billy hey, Joel's Silky. Good. Yeah. And I love Billy Joel. Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode's great too. Yeah. I and love Depeche Mode. I saw Depeche Mode in San Antonio. And 
coming up in September, my seventh concert is Bruce Springsteen's at Oriole Park, Camden Yard. Bruce, yeah, Bruce is good. He's a little too old now, though. He's like, he's got bad knees. He's not performing. It was supposed to be last year, but he had a um a old. That dude, I email behind the scenes, man. Okay, maybe a million years ago, we used to exchange emails back in the day. But I don't email fucking anybody. Ask the last fucking person who's received a fucking email from me, bro. Can I email you, email Shannon? Email me and fake accounts, dork. <laughs> I don't. My last Shannon, one, please like, just, you know, my kids' me. name popped up, and they were fucking talking about my mother. Like they email okay, me and my family's names and shit. Shannon, romantically, we'll never be together. But like, can I meet you somewhere and we can like dance? Like together, we ever dance. dance with a one legged woman in the pale moonlight? Yeah, I'll dance with you, <laughs> honey. I have I'm missing a leg, darling. How am I gonna dance? You want to do care. dancing under the sheets? I'll pick you up. I'll carry <laughs> oh, you. That's cute. You love pick it. me up. Bef- oh my god, Tesh, why do you keep coming back here? My honest Shannon. decision. I'm blocking you all. Shannon. You all are boring as fuck. I love you. I oh, love you. that's sweet. You've been saying I've been listening for a long time. Who is Tesh? Like scared of me? Is Tesh the Indian fella? Yes, Tesh is the Indian fella. I don't care about the age difference, Shannon. They all say that, sweet boy. But the fact nah. of the matter is, is it's a big fucking difference to me. Shannon, I want you to be my. My sweet friend, that's all I want. No, thanks, Merman. That's I'll always be, be my love. Always be cool, boys, friend. We're friends, because, friends forever. Because Shannon, I know, you, I, know I, I want to be the one that I know you're a good person, and I respect you your into your bed every night. And also, you kiss on the forehead. I I really really wakes you up. Feel bad about the trials and tribulations you've gone through in your life. With your husband and with your leg and everything, I re- I'm I really feel bad for you. I'm so sorry. I'm so Aww, sorry. don't worry mm-hmm. about it, Merman. I mean, here's the thing. I'm, Thank you for the I'm willing. Today. I'm willing. I to really, go really to appreciate Shannon's that. World. We all have you fucked up deserve, shit that you happens don't deserve in our lives, that. Right? You don't deserve that. You don't well, nobody it. deserves anything. I mean, that's the whole point of life. You don't deserve shit. Nobody deserves anything. It. That's why yeah, I wanted to say you don't thing, deserve yes. that. Life sucks and then you die. My mother yeah. told my dead mother told me this. That was very Nobody sweet of you though, my man. I appreciate you as well. Thank you for those kind words. It was very moving Shannon. and I appreciate it. What? Shannon. Do you want to dance sometime with me? Patrick, yeah, Let's maybe. dance. Put on your red shoes and dance. I love David Bowie. Do you guys like David Bowie? Shit, you're lucky a guy like me, number one guy in the world, is hitting on you right now. You better. She is lucky. I, I am. I am definitely privileged yes. that you're hitting on me. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. But here's the thing. That's- Actually, I'm really flattered. So, you know, I'd rather you be you up here be hitting flattered, on me. You can be flattered, but that doesn't than, mean you're than lucky. Porn bomb, than get porn bombed. Uh, is there something wrong with you, Hitesh? Are you okay? <coughs> I'm, I'm asking you uh, uh, really that question because I don't know why you're trying to like start Indian shit color? in here tonight. Who a touch? Is that the you need to, Yeah, right you now? need to, You need to go sit with your friends over there. They're all a bunch of disgusting pigs. That oh, who's that? that? Who's that? that? It's Let Indian. me know, Shannon. It's a touch. Oh my god, who's a touch? It, it's an Indian who's... fellow. He was here the other night. Oh, Indian guys are the worst. Middle Eastern guys are are pity too, but yeah. Indian he was very man. He was very disrespect, disrespectful to the female. I man. thought you kept your opinions to yourself. I guess we were both wrong, huh? Uh-huh. Uh. He's very disrespectful. Uh. He was very disrespectful to the female anatomy. What does I don't that really mean? care what you guys That's say. Insane. Why don't you go somewhere else? You old fucking fart, you old goat, and your old fucking goat friends. Get the fuck out of here. Fem- female anatomy, I'd probably be hitting. I'm on, happy like, that you guys are all chicks. over there. I got to fucking watch you guys fucking support people that do the most vilest things ever. 
You guys don't deserve a fucking moment of my time ever or anybody's time. You guys should sit there and you're fucking disdain, fucking disgust. That's what Here's you guys should do. All those Shannon, people you I, mentioned, you should go over there and Shannon, say can I tell you something real quick? Can I tell you something real quick, Shannon? Yeah. Hmm. You're fucking super hot and you're so smart. You're like, I'm listening to you all the time. I listen to what you say. You are very smart. I like that. I like a smart woman. I'm in, I'm attracted to very intelligent women. I'm a sapiosexual you're like the most as well. Sapiosexual, yeah, you're so fucking they smart. They have to be smart that. for me to like them. How many guys are attracted to you like that? I'm like the only one probably, I would imagine. Oh, stop. You think oh, that are attracted to me romantically? No. Uh, oh, for my brain? Like, sapiosexually, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, actually, that's kind of my thing. I'm a nerd. So, like, usually the guys that like me do like somebody who's a little bit smarter. Hi, serious. Because I don't impress them physically. I'm not like, I'm not like a physically beautiful woman or anything like that. I'm just a woman. That's it. Not fucking a hideous monster. I'm not a fucking supermodel. I'm just a fucking normal ass lady. Just a lady. You you seem like a supermodel who's like highly intelligent. Like, well, um, well, I enjoy learning, but I'm not a supermodel. And that's very nice of you to say. I'm not even close. I'm just a fucking retarded old woman. But <laughs> you enjoy, what, what, wait, 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 wait. I do yeah, enjoy you, challenging you my like, mind. I enjoy language. I enjoy mathematics. I enjoy science. I, you know, I mean, so these are things that I explore. I adore philosophy. I'm Shannon. a fucking sucker for the arts. Shannon. But hey, Shannon. Do you Shannon, enjoy can I sex? say something important? Can I say something important? Hi, Johnny, baby. Yeah, of course. <sighs> mathematics is oh, what. Yeah. Mathematics. Mathematics was my downfall. That was shut the, the one. fuck up. No one cares about your mathematics. Dude. Hey, uh, I am trying to have a conversation, motherfucker. Shut and you. Shut the fuck said, up. Yes. Yeah. So Back relax cat, for a second. Fucker. I was trying to say something important. Mathematics was the one subject in school that kept me from uh, first honor roll. No, because I did well in everything else. I have a good memory, a good at memorizing mm -hmm. things. It's just mathematics because mathematics you can memorize the, 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 you know, the, 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 rules, but they always have tricks on the test. Hello, Jenny. They always trick. They always try Jenny, to, baby. They always try to trick Look, you here's the test. thing with mathematics. The the what great the thing problem? about mathematics is their memorizational operations. Therefore, if you can understand and memorize the actual equations, you know, integers that they are needed, then you can fucking do anything. It's a top thing. It's just like, why? How can you code? Well, it's a learned behavior. Anybody can do it. Well, can, I, can I tell you? Can I tell you something real quick? Mm -hmm. So, like mathematics, I'm like, dude, I got kind of a big dick, you know, and I just like having oh, sex. See, I thought cool. math. Now was you're getting off topic. Losers, you're so, maybe of that's geometry. Of course. Yeah, it's geometry. I need the sacred <laughs> geometry there, merman. <laughs> <laughs> sacred geometry, dude. That's a secret to the universe, man. The dick. I don't know what to tell you. Listen. Shannon, that's not impressing you. I have a big dick. It's not impressing it, you. It, big dicks don't impress me, sir. It, I, I have glued my impress, I have glued the cookie shed a long much? time ago. It no longer is cool, entryway cool to anything except for Shannon, you. Shannon, I'll make He's you feel like great. Cool be boy. with me. Cool be boy, with me, much. Shannon. Be with me forever, Shannon. I was under the impression that six not, inches, not only do I, was under I have the impression that six a large member, I'm very me. funny. Okay. You, we can, you can, I'll, I'll give you laughs also. I'm very funny. I see that. Yes. Yes. And also, also, I'll give you a million dollars. A million dollars. Where would I? I, I, I don't. I don't nobody dollars. buys me, darling. <laughs> I want I'm not going to buy you. I'm just telling you, man. Yeah, I'm not, I am not for Damn. sale, my love. 
I want to. No, do I'm not trying to buy you. That's that's stupid. Money doesn't really? impress me. You have to have something more than money for me. Like you said, you know, I'm a sapiosexual. I'm looking great. For I have a great personality. A large it. member. What, I what, what can I do to impress you? Canada. Tell me about Vancouver. I like you a lot, Shannon. I'm listening Very to you nice. like 24 well, hours a day. Cold. This is bullshit. Well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, you're not I'll shut like up. Me, not really? one, this, this, this sounds like bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm calling bullshit. Right here. <laughs> you I'm just don't like right here. Not being number one, merman. No, I told. I made this abundantly clear with Shannon. I just want to be her friend. But this guy keeps repeating. Oh, I want to. Oh, I want to lick your. Uh, all this other shit. I think <laughs> that has bullshit. nothing to I'm, do with you. I'm calling bullshit. I think that uh, kid is trollish. I think he's. Uh, you want me to send my my dick pics? Boy, you're bullshit. I think you're bullshit. Mm. I have a large penis. I have money. Large penis. In case you anybody didn't know, Cool Boy has a very large penis. A very large American <laughs> penis. And also, a I'm very also large <laughs> American penis. Cool Boy has. <laughs> I hey, your audio is fucked up, cool boy. Shannon, I want you to ask Hate Hate Sphere about Vancouver because I like. Sorry, the Shannon, I'm working with the Yeah, oh. yeah, your audio. Mute him. No, no, it sounds better now. I, I have an you. IQ of one forty. I have, my penis is nine inches long, and also I'm the did. funniest guy you ever meet in your life. Negative one forty. What, what's your penis's IQ? <laughs> Hi, Sirius. Hello, Jimbo. How are you, sweet man? All right. You good? Hey, Shannon, I want to. I want you yeah. to make your your wrench, your monkey wrench friend. Hate hate goes here. I want him. You to tell him that I have a profound interest in his city of Vancouver, and that I would like to ask him questions about Vancouver. And that's all. Thank you. I think you just Shannon. did, darling. Shannon. Yeah. I I really. I think I love you. Like, I is it like a broadcaster? As a broadcaster. Vancouver is a beautiful well, city. I love you as a panelist, cool boy. You're very sweet, very uh, gratuitous young imagine, man. Imagine, imagine if you it's okay, to be, it, it's okay to be sweet and kind, but don't overdo it. You're talking about cock too much. Um, Shannon. Yeah. Shannon, do you like... Yeah. Would you, if we were to make love, would you like it if I were to, like, oh my God. go down on you? Ah. Eat your pussy? Here's the thing. No. Women do not like to talk about cock and making love. When you like, like it. them, I'll it's talk about natural. It. It's natural. They dude. do not like talking about that. It's, I'll I'm talk about it. Can't back it the up. The answer is like no. It. I do not like oral oh, sex. Sorry. They do not like talking about that. What? They want to talk about. Do you like no, going to the movies? Do you like going on the to the beach? What's your favorite? Uh, do you uh, like anal, Shannon? No, you're, oh. going, you're off target. You're off. I'm, target. I'm very, I'm very target. against the Hershey Highway. You're off ah. target. I think, you, I think you would be open to you. You're, that's that's the reason no, why you're not. Cool you'd boy. like to think that, but then that cock blocks you because you're an idiot. Okay, I'll see you the later. Penis then, is the Shannon. most disgusting part of the human. Well, that, you that don't want to be my friend. And that wasn't me talking action, to you. That was Lisa. Thing. But okay, uh, bye, I would, bitch. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just air my honest opinion. The anus is the most disgusting part of the human anatomy, and is not for entry. It's for exit. Exactly. I don't know. Your mouth is pretty nasty too when you examine the germs. That is true. Hmm. Oh man, yeah. If you, if you drink Mouth mouthwash, and if you uh, are if you're a cleanly person, but no, to answer your question, darling, uh, I I don't do anal. I'm not into fucking the poop shoot, and no, I gross. don't actually like being eaten out. Those are two things that I really are not a fan of. I'll keep. I'll kiss a cute woman's buns, but I will. Not what do you like them. then, Shannon? What What are your favorite things? With Why making love. Mm, I like things that equate to people like tantrically being entwined and kissing. Oh, you like tantric sex. And... You like edging. I can do that. No, no. Oh, he, he, you're thinking about Karma Sutra, aren't you, cool boy? 
Yeah, Kama Sutra, yeah. Tantric sex, yeah. No, just gentle, loving oh, you know, people so you, enjoying you, each other's body sex. I don't really like, uh, you know, break it down to like a fucking don't goddamn Don't act like a position. retard. You know, you know what you like, Shannon. Don't act like you don't. Do you I like just told numbers. you what I like. That's bullshit shit. I know you like You know, shit. every partner you're with is different, right? So you can't say what you like with one or another. Maybe, you know, like, this girl's good at this and this girl's like that. Your chemistry is what fucking matters when you're fucking. You I know? don't care what big the dick, girl's little dick, at. Big hole, I'm worried big about dick, pleasuring ass. the woman. Really I want to pleasure the woman. The chemistry I want to pleasure the woman. I'm into the chemistry, man. I'm into the sounds. I'm into the, the, the fucking smells, I'm into the moans. I'm into the. I'm you into have all beakers. Of it. When you're having sex, you're like you have beakers and like trying to do the alchemy correctly. Shut you up. Know, I just what fucking you... enjoy being oh, in up. love with somebody I'm having sex with. And, and Other Shannon, than that, it's it's a being man's in love with somebody. Yeah. Shannon, I do enjoy cuddling. I do enjoy hey, cuddling. Hey, Hey, Gina. I've, I've had cuddles with prostitutes before in between for, for some time. What? You have a with prostitutes? What they're the good. Fuck? They give you two, two fucks in, in 30 minutes and you cuddle in between. <laughs> that was when I was younger. I'm, I'm 47 now. You're old as fuck, dude. What are you talking about? Oh, Hi, Gina, baby. <laughs> Yeah, all right, watch that old as fuck man. word, fuck oh boy. Watch that old as fuck word, please. 47 is oh. not old. I'm 47. I'm being honest about my age. How old are you? That's cool old as hell, dude. 36. Thank you. Cool boy's still wearing diapers. We all know this. Hey, the, the dude has a pro, uh, a pro hey, I'll be serious. delicious with glasses. <laughs> Do you know Trisha All Licious? Being serious, you are very serious, dude. Trisha Licious used to be in Playboy. I have her nudies. I still and... watch Trisha Licious. She's still live framing. I love Trisha Licious. She's got a problem with her eyebrows, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, I, Lord. She, I don't really watch Judge her much? Much, but She still live streams. Judge much? I'd still fuck her, but I'm just saying, if you want perfection. I would, I'm too. I'd, I'd be lucky Judge to... much? I'd still, fuck, yeah, I'm, I'd still beautiful. fuck her. I'm so I'm not judge much. I'm just saying. Something happened to her eyebrows. Oh it might God. be a genetic thing. And they, <laughs> Did she shave them? What the fuck? Other than know. shaving your eyebrows, what else can happen to your eyebrows? I don't know what happened to her eyebrows. How you doing, Lisa? Oh, my God. That kills me. But I'd fuck her. Ooh, oh, I don't yeah, like her I eyebrows, but I'd fuck That's her why I'd put a paper I, bag I over her head. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, you can. I I still fuck her. I like her. I think she's attractive. <laughs> yeah, man. I can say that about any woman in the world, dude. I think she's attractive. I like to fuck her. But I don't know what she has. Like, uh, like I, I'm smarter. starting to feel not so special, cool boy. <laughs> <laughs> She's got magic. I, I, I feel like I have a spiritual and emotional connection to you, Shannon. Lisa. Oh, Lisa, okay. Lisa, thank Lisa, you. I appreciate Lisa that. D. And I feel special again. Lisa D. I'd rather she has not magic, have sex with you. Obvious magic you markers over her eyebrows. Aww. So it yeah. made me like question where, what happened to her eyebrows. That's all. That's <laughs> oh, all I'm well, saying. But I'm but not saying still Exactly. She was a bit Well, here's the thing. I I yes. think Trisha Licious is a beautiful woman. I don't know about her personal Most life, and She's I don't really hot. care. You know, I mean, like I don't watch her. Uh, it's not that I. I just don't know her, so I have no commentary the only, on that. The only problem with Trish Delicious that I've seen is she I'm has sure a, she's a beautiful she, she young a, lady. Beautiful yeah, yeah, woman. but she has a young kid, and she she deals with, like, IRL people, like Ice Poseidon. No, I've, I've, kind of I've heard of her before. I just don't. I've never been to her chat, ever. I'm not, I don't even know what she looks like. That's the only problem The only reason why I've like, heard of her is because I, I watch Blogger. Ever. She gave Attila Bach a blowjob, and OG Geezer had to interrupt them in the in the car. I saw that live. Uh oh. 
<laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I like I said. I'm Shannon. stating that right now. I've never watched Trisha Licious. Uh, the only reason why I know of her is because I watch Blogger. That's Shannon, it. Shannon, I don't know if you dislike a. And I noticed. And I noticed I, that control I'm, is. I, I'm, I'm kind of friends with Trisha Licious, but like, here's the only problem. She does that IRL shit, and she has kids. And that's that's yeah. What, that's I, I I don't want to see kids in the background. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Shannon, I don't want, I don't want to see fucking kids. Of meet. all the bullshit that you watch and want to push, Merman, you don't want to see kids in the background. That kills me. No, Hilarious. I don't. That's a well, fuck. That, yeah, what, what are you talking about? Woman? Just from the last you couple idiot. days, Lisa. From what I understand, okay, this is just from the last few days because they've come here and mentioned this. I guess something was discussed about that child's underwear at one point, and some yeah, inappropriate things don't were put, put. Don't put kids anywhere. Put forward yeah. because of the the type of a uh, streaming she does. It's don't called IRL streaming. It. Okay. And um, well, basically, Shannon, there's, it's, it requires it. donations, and people feel entitled to speak I whatever really, they want. There, what I've seen lately, I was, won't, uh, I won't comment on. Big Alaska I had more De La I don't Duna look in the background her. And stuff, you know. Yeah, no, I barely know either, Lisa. I just this is what just I've has come to light in my chat the last couple of days with somebody called Captain Deplorable. So, like, again. I am That's not well horrible. rooted in the lore on their side at all. I, I know I of Trisha Licious. I've never been to her chat. I've never visited her chat. I've never made it over there. I don't know enough about her to speak about her life, and I wouldn't feel comfortable she, doing so. But there's lots of people here that do know her. Shannon, there's a tragic case that happened in 2022 with a woman from... I believe she was from Pennsylvania and I was friends with her. She died of a drug overdose and she was 32. That's too bad. Very sad. But, yeah, but she was a busybody and she was attacking Trisha Licious, attacking her, you know, with the child support and attacking I Trisha Licious. Attacking Trisha Licious about, oh, you're not properly treating, you know, she was a busybody and she was going after Trisha Licious. And trying to get the government to take her kid away from her. Yeah, that's what happens to these people. But uh, from what I can tell, that. that happens a lot over there. They're always trying to get it's people's kids taken one away. One of the worst communities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can understand why Trisha Licious was upset about that. I certainly can. And <laughs> yeah. respect, and respect yeah, no that. Shit, dude. But what happened to this woman is she died of a drug overdose, probably fentanyl. They, they yeah, try to get all kids types are, of people's kids taken away. And Amber's, Jen's, Trisha's, was, Controllers. They always go after the fucking kids, say they're but, horrible but, parents, whatever. But Shannon, she was also a porn star, and she was only 32 years old. Yeah. Uh, porn stars There's are dying all the time right now. There's a weird conspiracy theory right now. So many porn stars have been dying lately. Uh, young, young porn stars. <laughs> Porn's just a bad industry to go into if you're a young woman. Like, you've and, obviously lived a bad life if you're into porn. And the sad I don't thing know about this. that. I don't know about that at all. But, all I know is that I've, I've, I've been, I've, I've, I've done, I've done some porns. I've Everybody porn. has yeah. a chance at redemption. You can turn your life around. Shannon, My I only problem with important. people that that talk about. Right. Gish knows who I'm talking about, Gia. And Gia was my friend. And I had her on Facebook and Instagram. And I was trying to hook up with her and everything. And, uh -huh. and she, but she was too far gone. She was attacking Trisha Licious about her kid. And she was went too far. Well, maybe Trisha Licious shouldn't have her kids around a bunch of weird IRL streams. All I all I know is this is I have a problem with the porn star attacking other porn stars for having kids because she doesn't have any. But what That's happened a was, oh. what happened was that was so tragic is she died of an overdose, probably fentanyl included in her cocaine or heroin. And afterwards, after she was reported to have died. Trisha Licious said, oh, I'm glad she died. I hope she's burning in hell, that troll, that that goblin, that bitch. That was really, really cruel. 
Yeah, man, it's too bad. That's dude. where she's from, is she? The Carterverse? Oh, I didn't know. Right, they were. They I want to know how Carter. I got sucked into the IP2 wiki universe. They were, in love, with, with they were in love with that Carter guy, and he ended up he ended up dying uh, in a in a bathtub himself of drugs or whatever. That's a very He's fucking sad. Was he a fan? You're gonna be asking yourself how you got sucked up into the cool boy cool boy universe. Yeah. See, Gish Gish yeah. knows knows what I'm talking about. Maybe it's criminal you are. Shannon, Gish knows what I'm talking about. How many subs do you have? I uh, guess Gish, Gish yeah. has been around. Gish knows a lot of shit. I'm not soulless. I believe in God and Jesus. How am I soulless? You believe in God and Jesus? Yes. Are you gay? I'm not gay. Oh, stop. Just because you believe in God and Jesus does not mean you're fucking gay. Mean <laughs> I believe in the devil and Satan. That makes me straight, dude. Jesus. Chris, the oh, don't say don't say his name. Jesus. Goodness sakes. No. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't, I don't have work. any problems with Trisha Licious, to be honest with you. I I I still watch her shows sometimes. The only problem I have with her is she lets her little young kids go out with fucking IRL content guys. I made it abundantly clear with Trisha Lithis. I think she's a very attractive woman. I don't think I don't think she's she's not doing that nowadays. She just streams every once in a while. I see her streams. She gave she gets a lot. She gets a lot of numbers. I she like gave numbers. Attila Bach a blowjob, and Attila said it was a good time. Attila, yeah, where's Shannon, Attila at? Attila Attila is, I think he's doing friend. good now. He's he's done, dude. He's not. He's my friend too. I talked to him. <laughs> I met him. We went to a uh, San Jose Shark uh, Anaheim Ducks uh, hockey game in Anaheim. I just talked to him on Discord a lot. That's I, where I, I, never talked, met him. I talked to him there on Instagram. But Jewel is messing around with a black guy tonight and another woman. I don't know what's going on. They got like a new. new how situation. many kids did Jewel just have? How many kids does Jewel have? Three, but two she doesn't pay attention to. How many? How many? Does she like take care of? Are they not of them? There? Attila takes care of the one kid. His kid, yeah. The rest of them are foster care. Jewel's a fucking care, fucked up, yeah. fucking weird. But it, it, hang it, on a it, second. It, hang on a second. The porn industry. Can I say something her before out, I dude. boot you. It, yeah, Jewel was with a black guy and a white woman. Hello, Attach. Say they're, something they're before I boot you. Video. They're making a porn video. My yeah. man. Hey, Shannon, I'll wait. All right. Go ahead. Resume back to mute. Just wanted to make sure you weren't a clone. Someone's mad at no. me. I wanted to be quiet just because they're discussing about these things. You know? Yeah. Okay. Well, just make I, it I sure, man. Whenever somebody like, comes up on my stage and it's fucking muted just, forever, it's always fucking I just, something weird. I, I just uh, don't want to disrespect any. Are you mad at me, me? Hitesh? Are yeah, you mad don't at ever me? Disrespect no, no one, man, I'm dude. Good. I'm good. Because Hitesh, Hitesh, Tamar, don't disrespect me, dude. I'll beat your ass, brother. No Hitesh, Hitesh, I respect you. You can't. I have. I, I can't. Had, I can do that. I, I want sex bro. with Indian women, and I love the smell of the curry off their pussy. Oh, that's oh disgusting. Oh my god! Why would that's you crazy. say them, or man? That's how they they respect women in America. That's your respect to us women. Yes, I love, I love Indian women. I love I'm Indian an women. Indian man. I am an Indian. I run no racist in shit in here. I have I plenty that wasn't of Indian me. friends. That wasn't me. Plenty of Indian friends, and I think they're just as fucking amazing as my white friends and my black friends and my Mexican nah. friends and my Asian friends. They're fucking nah. amazing. We're all fucking amazing. Nah. We're all superstars. God damn Boot it. his ass, Boot Shannon. Shannon. I'm a Boot Herman's ass. I'm a superstar, Shannon. What you know mirror what? did you hey, wake boy, up looking you into? You are. Superstar. You are fucking. You are a star wrapped in flesh. The light is always within you. All right? Always. It always has been. Shannon, Shannon can I tell you something real quick? Absolutely. I'd love to give you a kiss on the lips. He Come sounds here. like Firefly. Mm -hmm. mm. There he you go. Sound, he sounds like Firefly. <laughs> 
Oh, there was a sighting of Otto at Pinkies today. So he is alive, everybody who was wondering. He's Kay, how are you me. doing? Hey, Kay, how are you doing, sweetheart? How are the cats? <clears throat> I know who thank Kay God is. for thank God for yeah, Mark Terry. I, I've already been a Mark Terry, Terry. Mark Terry vetted me to be on your stream. Shit. Thank God. Kay, are the yeah. Kay, are the cats doing well? Are the cats doing well down there? I hope I hope you're doing well. Interrupt you, so. Hey, Chris, you're going to have to stop saying that racial slur. I, I'm not going to ask you again. If you do it again, I'm just going to ban you. I, want, I don't I do racial shit it, here, homie. Shannon, I want to make it abundantly clear, clear that I love Indian women, and I think they can, they're can. some of the most beautiful women in the world, and that's all I want to say. I think wow. there's gorgeous and ugly women in every fucking race. Period. I think the most beautiful women, racial wise, are Ethiopian women. Look them up. I, whatever. I, I, I don't care what people. I'll be, I'll be here. I'll be here. Compare women and. The truth of the matter is, is any beautiful woman here could get anybody they I fucking think wanted. It's, Thank you. Physically. Ethiopian women spiritually and mentally. Show your Shannon, show your like face. Show your face. We show my face and we will my see. Face up here, was my face is up here, bro. Let's do it. Oh, Let's do it. Man, man. oh you man, man. You man, man. I don't I don't look that great, uh Hitesh. I'm a fat American. You sound Mexican. No, I'm American. I'm not Mexican. Fat. Stop throwing yes, around no, your shit. Yes, not he sound Elvadorian or whatever the country is. Not going to ask Peru. you Peru. again. Peru. And your mom was from Peru, green. No matter how sweet you are. Hey, hey, Tesh, when I was in Peru. college, I had, I had a, a roommate named Deepak Gold. And he, he slept. He didn't sleep on a bed. He slept hey, on, no a, on a little mat and he did yoga. Dude, one time I had a roommate who was an African from Africa and he had HIV. And uh, yoga is good for your food. health, motherfucker. Yeah. Meditation yep. and yoga is the best thing I'm that you can do with hey, How are you, darling? Instead of staying over here on the panels and talking about women and disrespect them. Women? No yoga. It's called women. It's not called women. You disrespect women. me all the time, Hatesh. I've never been to I've never been to India, Hatesh, but I have oh, been thank to God. I I've, I've never gone to you India. Won't, you, you won't be a, you won't be allowed. You won't be allowed. Oh, you want you want oh, you want oh, you want oh, Even an auto rickshaw driver will be dressed like a big Indian prostitute in Singapore. Two thousand. Uh, they go yes. come again. They go come again. Indians are doctors, not prostitutes. <laughs> oh boy! Indian man. Ooh. Indians are doctors and engineers. They are not prostitutes. Ooh, Mostly Mexicans. In Singapore, they're prostitutes. And Americans are actually prostitutes. <laughs> in because Singapore, they're white. They're, they're in they're Singapore, I was, oh, oh, my no. hotel was next Indian to Little man. India. A, Little Jewish. India in Singapore. A, I went. To, I knew man. where to go. Walk down the street to oh, the I left. I can tell you oh, where to yeah. go if you'd like. Oh, please. Oh, boy. Oh, There's nothing. The Indian Look. Ew. Just See, saying. America needs to. I, 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 this is a controversial. America rules. Fucking deal. I'm going to talk about something controversial that it's going to get everybody upset. Of course upset. you are. It's going to get everybody are, upset. Dude. It's. Oh, you're uh, really then, then don't. Barriers, then bro. don't. They don't do it, Merman. Okay, I won't. Yeah, Merman. Good. Chill out, Merman. Thank you. He won't be able to help it. He's going to talk no, about it. Uh, uh, Shannon, actually, Shannon, does, Shannon, Shannon actually, I know that you will kick me out as soon as I will start talking, right? I will I send you a private You've been talking for the last fucking 20 minutes. That's the, re that's the, that's, that's the reason I'm not answering him. That's the reason I'm not answering him correctly. You keep I can back. make him shut down in like five minutes. Oh, the, 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 what can I say in the out. Just being racist. You know? Hatesh, oh, I have oh, thought oh, on oh, the oh, reformation oh, of the United oh, States oh, of America. Your mom's ass is. 
United States of America. It, it sits on my oh, no, no, no. It has nothing to do with it. You're just being an ignorant fool. You are. Yeah, well, he just talked about my fool. mom. Why would he say that? That's nasty. Oh, oh stop. Don't. You know who I want? Don't you know do who a I switch want to in my mommy. Uh, I am not going to talk about I have find the dollar, find the dollar I stuck in your mouth. I, re I respect yesterday. you, but listen, you started it with the curry pussy thing, man. Like that was weird, Ooh. dude. Jaren, find my daughter, hard on dollar in your mom's Jaren. ass. It's there, Jaren. it's still there. You know, your only Jaren. advantage for a man is and I like you better than I like Tesh at the is, moment. Uh -huh. My name is written over that dollar actually. Find it in her ass, in your mom's ass, motherfucking bitch. Hitesh, I have oh, a problem. Oh, dude. Hey, Hitesh, I want to tell you something, Hitesh. I really think, <laughs> I think Indian, Indian women are very attractive. I just want to say that. And? No. 50% of them are attractive. The rest are. And your mom's, your mom's ass is very wide, like a tenon, you know? Why do you have to say it's, that? It's, it's, mean, not, it's not broken in the memory of your country. Chill. Hey, Tesh, chill. Okay, Tesh, let me explain something to you about Merman. He's autistic, and sometimes he says things that are inappropriate, and you have to He's a piece him. of shit But on you the shouldn't, you shouldn't take it so fucking he personally. Is jobless. You sound really he fucking triggered right now, and you disrespect yes, women not. all the I, time. I all the not. time you disrespect women. You disrespect me almost every day. I talked about oh, that one woman. More in sexual ways or on the originality or Listen ethnicity or something like that. I never do that. Listen this is not my thing. <laughs> when I was in New Zealand, I had I had sex with an Indian woman who had curry smelling pussy, but I had sex with her nonetheless. And she had beautiful breasts, and I was very respectful and kind to her. I am a good person. 100% and respect Indian women. Well, if, Indian if, if Tesh is autistic, then it's fair game, Gishy. Yes, That's all I have to say. If Tesh, but I happen sex. to know that Tesh is not autistic. Listen, just Sharon, my man. Sharon, my man. Would you, yeah, just seriously. because would you, you had sex with yes. an Indian woman who had a curry smell of pussy, pussy does yeah. not no. make you a fucking good person. No. This he, he, never, he never had a sex even. He had sex with Bobbin Bunny Buns. That's this what he did. His old life. Lisa in Auckland. Why are you England. speaking ill of Robin Bunny Buns? She's not even here, Tesh. Yeah, and none of these people even her. know who Robin he, he is. Sounds, like he, sounds, he, you, sound, he sounds like a homo. He sounds Don't like a homo. speak. You, you have never homo, seen. Speak. He, about people that aren't here. Robin Bunny like Buns happens to be my friend. And just a heads up. Just a heads up, Hitesh. A hairy, hairy arm means a hairy pussy. Yes, uh, smoky. Oh, oh my god. Dude. Okay, so merman, merman, merman. What the fuck? Smoky wants to see, know see, the curry is see, salty. She's tenant. I, I, I always consider, and I always considered you as an educated Ooh, person, a well, a well corporate, I am a highly right? educated Ooh, person. You have worked in a corporate Ooh. level Ooh. jobs, right? And see what what kind of guys you have over here. They are they are like a sweet van. Who are you talking to? You're speaking again. to me. <laughs> they are they are truck talk. Uh, are you taco, speaking to me? Drivers. Yes, I am talking to you. Look, I don't have any choice to my panel. Yeah, I asked you to leave a million times and not come back. Keep you, coming back. You have fucking a clap. Hitesh, you have you have taco wonders, Anders. Hitesh, I give. You I don't care what you think are standards. Hitesh, your standards. You have the worst people on the internet. Most horrifying things to people. See them. See them. See them. How they talk with people. So why? Why? They the don't hell even respect I you. You like it they here? Don't come here. Me. No. I've asked Duncan you not to come here. here. Over and over. Duncan I've asked Duncan you respect. Shut the fuck up. I've asked you politely. They don't, you don't even. Listen. They don't even respect you don't your family. So if you this don't listen, room. I don't know don't what to know. tell you. Oh. But Tess, I I'm listening to you. you. I cannot I listen it because they are talking over and over again. I am trying. To I can listen them only. I respect the I cannot listen you. Your voice is very low. I've watched the movie Kama Sutra. See, see, see them. See these people. That's not me. I didn't say the drunk bastards. That was cool boy. Drunk bastards on the internet. 
Oh my goodness. Me, brother. Hatesh. you know. Oh, yeah, Hatesh, I oh, have yeah, a fetish brother. for 18 I women. see this on you. See them. See you them. See them. The game is Hatesh, sad, I brother. have a fetish for Indian women. I've it, been it, Indian it, Enough, it, enough, man, enough about the Indian women thing. It, 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 enough. It, it, it enough, was enough. It shows your labor. I'm trying to say <laughs> I have a common core. Enough. With him. You're not Indian helping your case. And Enough. Of them are disgusting. They smell like shit and curry. And they oh my fast. god! Stop being racist, cool boy, or else you're out of here. I'm not racist. I'm telling you, my. I love Indian women. Boot Merman and Boot Cool Boy. No. Fuck no, you guys. Fuck. I, I'm not. Shut I'm not the fuck up. I love Indian women. I love Indian women. I Merman. Love uh, at all. Shut Merman. Up. Enough. Can you respect Shannon? She said, "Quit." See okay, I'm, I'm, Jesus. I'm See, my goodness. Shut up, Hatesh. I've asked you not to come Maybe back here a million times. You've been nothing but disrespectful to me. So I don't want to hear your little fucking tirade what about did, fucking what respectful oh, people and, and, and professionals and intellectuals when you've done just as fucking nasty you. things to people all over the fucking internet. What I did today, I was just talking peacefully. And oh, you came, no, you came in here today and you're like, I want you to be my biggest enemy and blah, 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 blah. You start your shit down in chat and then you act like you're no, fucking I was up here. I was, I, I, I Shut the fuck upset. up. You're no better than anybody else here. So shut the fuck up about it. Christ. Oh, oh, really? Sweet Jesus. We all got Lord have mercy. Relax. Damn. Rusa. I, 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 I always love on you guys. Love no you. doubt, ATS. I, st Rusa. I still love on you guys all the time. I still so love you. So what? I still love you, you guys. You guys, I hope you're doing like okay. the hell up, Merman, for a couple minutes. So, Shannon, hey, Merman, you fucking yeah, stop being kids. You are you, so, you are grown so up, guys. I, I came, up, I up, came guys. up earlier to see how you were Shut doing. The fuck up, dude. You guys, I'm great, are how are you doing tonight? Are you having a good weekend so far? Yeah, I had to work today. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. deal with a bunch of drunks. Huh? Yeah, I do too all day, but it's not. I don't get paid for it. I know. <laughs> and now you're doing it for for, for free. Yeah, yeah now I, yeah. I'm, I'm hanging out with drunks for free. Ah! You never hung out with anybody in your life ever, Shannon. You're right. I don't have to ever do a live. I could totally just shut this off and never do a live again. But well, I will. I gonna, how am I gonna meet? How am I gonna meet you? I don't know. In your dreams, baby. Don't we meet there every oh night? <laughs> Don't we make <laughs> sweet love together every single night in our dreams? So, so Shannon, so yeah. Shannon, I have a, some, I have something to say. Okay, Shannon what is it, Tesh? It. Shannon would love it if I met her in this, her dreams. This is the last time because you are not, you guys are not my class. Actually. You are out of my class. Oh, oh. Okay. I mean, you are. Oh, so I don't care. Maybe what class this is you're this, this is this is my type. Like, you guys are not my type. You are not my type. No, 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 no. You all be. Shut the fuck all up. All right. Dude. Have you ever heard right, of a great nice life? Night, Tesh. Let, hey, bye, let Tesh. Tesh. have you ever had a great life? Bye, Tesh. Bye, uh, Tesh. We don't bye. need to say anymore. We understand. Go find somebody who's your own type. Your yeah, own class. Let me speak. Have a good night. Let me speak. No, no, you're, you're, you have a good night. We we appreciate you. Have a good one. Uh, That's all you have to say, man. We're we're good. Yeah. We're, good. We're, good. Yeah. we're good with you leaving, baby. Go ahead. Have you ever had a Singapore night. Singapore sling? Hatesh, have you I've ever had, had a Singapore, Singapore sling? Slut, John Tesh. Fuck you. Singapore sling. It's a drink from Singapore. Not me, Rogue. I never see it. No one gives a fuck. No one cares. Can I speak now? If you guys no, 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 we're okay. Leave. I'm willing to converse with this Indian fella. I really I am. Well, we don't, don't really said. want you to. I... Mer he Mer he, he doesn't feel like we're of his caliber. He needs to go ahead and excuse himself. He's fine. He can go. India we appreciate you. Have a good system. weekend, Tesh. He he's the best. He's the I, I really ahead. don't like go the ahead. You, you just need to go ahead and go. You don't need to say anymore. Clean shit out of Have the a nice sewer. night. I don't like yeah. that. The cow shit out of the sewer. I don't like that. 
Yeah, man. My attention. Oh, man, take a time out for fuck's sake. I don't like that. You better See you, Tesh. It. Go find Sorry? your caliber yeah. people, sir. See you, Tesh. Go find Bye. your caliber, dude. Sorry? Bye. Bye. Can you hear me? It's okay to like the petite women as long as you control them. Oh, merman. What? Stop. Know your class, yeah, Shannon. Know your class. Shut know the your hell class. up, Merman. Yeah, know you know what, class. I, I am perfectly yeah. aware of who mm. I am and what I am. Know your class. If there's anything Shannon. that I'm aware of, it Shannon. is myself. It's, it, it's so you just can go ahead so and excuse low, yourself man. and have You're a wonderful a evening. Hell, and Shannon. go sit with the people that you feel are your caliber of people. You have, Obviously, we're, we're have, too low yeah. level for you here. You're not we're not worthy you this, of your of your time. So you can go ahead and excuse yourself. We wish you a good weekend. Now you have these drunk people hey, who does not hey, respect you, you all the time. Oh, Atesh, do you know you have? Oh, statistically, India statistically oh, Indian India men have India the smallest man. penises oh, in the world. My oh my god. Just let him leave, everybody. Stop antagonizing him. Just let him go. Goodbye. You're right. We're not the right people for you. We're not the right panel for you. You should go. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to enlighten you. You should be classy enough to excuse yourself. Go I'm here to enlighten you. LMA. I don't need any enlightenment from you, Hitesh. You didn't ask for any. That's the reason where you are today. You should seek for it. I have I have no desire to engage you or seek any of your enlightenment, sir. I'm an India man. I'm on TikTok. Do TikTok. not make stunt fun of his accent. That's racist. <laughs> My accent is racist. Do not make fun of his accent. Do an American accent, Dinesh. <laughs> Do not go Dunkin' Donuts on him. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with liking petite women. <laughs> see, Sam. See, see, see. Where your glasses? I thought Kay was Alana Al, but if not... You are going downhill at all. You are all downhill. Was talking hey, about that's what I was told. I was told that by somebody else. That that Kate was the person. Was that that was the, was the person. The day because she was talking about her cats. It's not going to last long, actually, Shannon. Well, it's man, a temporary the thing here. that you're having. Uh, don't talk about cats. These, I don't care, cats. These, these drunk people. Doesn't even matter who's here or not. My real friends are always here. My real friends are always here. They are racist. 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 A roommate in college named Deepako, and he was Indian, and he practiced yoga, and he slept on a mat next to me. Uh, you never went to college from a high Delhi. school dropout. It's as simple as that. You were a high school. Dropout. I have Shannon. high respect for India. You understand that, Shannon? Hitesh, yeah. I what's your highest? Mm -hmm. What's your highest education I level, motherfucking mom? Okay. What's your highest, highest you. motherfucking? I don't blame you, Lisa. Highest I mean, motherfucking education level. Come like I said tonight. I graduated from the University tomorrow. of Maryland. Yes, ma'am. I'll be what's yes, ma'am. Highest education level. What's your I highest? I just education? told you I graduated from the University of Maryland. What? In what subject? History. Deepak graduated in physics. But I had a good friendship with Deepak. See, history, history. And he Deepak told Chopra? History. His history, name is Deepak sure. Gold. Deepak Gold. -E. <laughs> he was from New Delhi. And he was a good uh, friend of mine. And I had a good relationship uh, with him. And I have a profound respect for India and the Indian people. We don't come here to read history. We come there to read no, he IT studied physics. Or we do MS. He studied Master physics. He studied physics. I studied history. We were roommates. You studied nothing. You studied your bullshit. I studied your history. That's what. Yeah. I have a degree in history. But you are a high school crazy. dropout. Show me your history if you have. I have a. I I do have a degree yeah, in Rexy, college. Of course. Ma, uh, uh, show me your. Show me your degree. Hey, Hitesh. Show me your degree. Show I have degree. a degree in history and a minor in geography. I will show you my. Degree and my experience level. 
If you show me your data. It does not matter. What happened to me, I won't convey, but I went crazy. But I do have a degree in history from University of Maryland. You have, you have, you have nothing. You have nothing. You are a I don't doctor. have nothing. I have a driver. lot. I have a lot. Trust me. I have a you, lot. You, you are a driver. I ain't. Sh you, you don't know shit, motherfucker. I you are a, a driver. You no, know, you don't. Know ice cream shit. truck. You don't know ice shit cream from truck Chinola. or a taco truck. You Over don't know shit from Shinola. I come here. Bearing He's not even from branch. California, dork. I come here bearing an olive branch. He's talking. Tiny. I'm not. I'm talking. He's, he's, he's not even judges. from California, you dork, and he doesn't drive a fucking truck or anything like that. What was yeah, that I, racist I drive comment? a Mercedes Benz, by That's the way. That's how he sounds like. I drive a Mercedes Benz. Right. He sounds like he drives a taco truck. I drive what Mercedes are you trying to say, Benz, man? Motherfucker. I drive it, Mercedes it, Benz. Did it, did, weren't you the one it's, speaking it's, of it's, caliber it's, and people it's, talking it's, about racist things? That was a, a racist, that was a racist Mumbai, connotation. He's, he's in, his intellectual level is very low. I don't... There's no... In, I don't, I don't no subscribe to your opinion of anything. Why would I? You Why drive a tuk He is started. You drive a I, was not, I don't even know this guy, and he's triggered for me for nothing. You attacked me when I tried to be nice, saying I like Indian women, they're hot, and they got shaved bushes. That was awkwardly a yeah. weird statement there, Merman. <laughs> but I blame the autism. Yeah. See, you're always you're always a little over sexually charged all the time. It makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, you think and you, you, no, you I laugh on you guys. You could have just said Indian women are beautiful and I appreciate Indian them. women are beautiful and you I, didn't I have, have to say all that sexual uh, uh, I, I, I went over the top. Indian <laughs> women are beautiful and I have respect for India and India is a good ally of the United States of America. There. Yeah, yeah, and yeah spicy no, food. he's autistic, Kate. Okay. <laughs> and somebody somebody told me that about you the other night too. They said, "Hey, did you know that Kay is this person and and Merman stalked her and groomed her?" No, I thought no. Kay was Alana Owl, and Alana Owl was a woman I fell in love with. Merman, to be honest, you sound like gay. I'm not gay. I've never had a heterosexual in, in interaction at all. Really? You never had a heterosexual interaction at all? You mean homosexual? Homosexual interaction at all. <laughs> no, nothing. I, I don't I remember they put it, it backstage. I don't remember who the who the hell told me that actually. Can't remember who it was. It probably was Alvaro because Alvaro was I always not it was Alvaro, I think. It maybe Alvaro made fun of me or when I broke up with a lot with Alana. I complained about it, and then Alvaro made fun of me about it. Uh, is it Veda? That is documented, by the way, Shannon. Shannon, is Maman Veda? You know what, Kay, though? But I'm not going to say that because I don't really remember. I just remember somebody putting that backstage, and I made note of it, but I didn't make note of who it was. And I was like, really? And I was like, okay. But somebody told me that within the last 48 hours, too. I don't know who said it. I have been drinking tonight, but that's not against my American values. I don't, I, you know, don't hold down. me to that, Silky, because I don't remember who said it. For all I know, Merman could have said it backstage. I don't remember. Somebody told me backstage that that's who she was. I thought she was, I thought she was Private K. I thought she was, I thought she was Private K. But they were talking. That was me. I thought that Kay was Alana Owl. Because I engaged her and I said, are you Alana Owl? And she said, yes. And I said, how are your cats? And she said, oh, they're great. But they were talking about it on the stream. About Mer what Merman was doing with this person and that he was grooming I, her. I, and... I was genuinely in love with Alana Owl for three months in 2021. And she kept saying... For three, four months, I love you. Thank, and I talked to her about a lot of stuff with her family and personal stuff. And I don't go into it here because I'm not a bad guy. And that does not make me a groomer if she's 25 years old, 26 years old, fool. 
yes, she may be 20 years older than me, but that doesn't mean I'm a girl. Hey, Rexy. I was in love you with are, her. You are gay, so for sure. I am not gay. I do not like cock in my anus. Oh, my God. Not even yours? No. Who cares I if you never... were gay? What's that got <laughs> to do with anything? <laughs> to be honest, I've never had a, a, a homosexual thought in my life. Never. Because I think the anus is the most disgusting part of the human anatomy. So you, no one could ever call me gay. I may be incel. I may be unacceptable for women. But I am certainly not gay. Uh, your uncle did you, right? Huh? Dude, don't even go there, man. Don't Welcome even go back. there, Des. Gina. Don't even go there. I will reach to this phone, and I, I will pop you like a pimple talking like that. Don't even go there. Not okay. I mean, Swear. it was just in passing, and since I didn't feel like it was a valid fucking thing, and I didn't lend too much credit to it because of it was just some backstage crap, I didn't really remember who said it because I didn't really pay much attention to it. You know, things only stick with me that seem fucking strange. I mean, I didn't even think about it twice until he said it right now. I was like, oh, yeah, somebody told me that a couple days ago, too. He's just mentioning it in passing. We're not perfect human beings, by the way. I, you know, I, I didn't really fucking take it as anything that was, like, something that I needed to know. Like, obviously, that person and Merman aren't in contact with each other anymore, so. No, they it, aren't. It uh, didn't seem like any valid information that I needed to know. It was none of my fucking business, you know? Supposedly, this person was 26 years old, which is frowned upon, but still an adult and really not my fucking problem. And as she far as I can tell, you don't have any lost. problems being scared of this person she, or she, feeling she threatened said, by this person. I said, so I didn't pay it much thought. I said to Kay, are you Alana Allen? She said, you got me. Okay. This was two weeks ago. She did say that. You got me. Okay. But I got you. I don't I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. That's just you know, like I didn't make note of it because I didn't really it didn't really fucking apply to me at all. Like I just I just remember somebody yeah. saying it to me. And for all I know, yeah, like I said, exactly. it was Merman. I don't know. Somebody said it backstage. Shannon, what would you say about a woman that what would you say about a woman that says I love you every single day for three and a half months and then all of a sudden says, Oh, I met a new guy in New Mexico. I, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in you anymore. I don't know. That's your, that's I don't know. I'd be leery of anybody that told me they loved me every day when I've only known them for three months. It well, was not a girl, it was a, it was a man. Well, K is a not woman. a man. I talked this to K video in here call. is not a man. It was a video call. I can prove it. God damn it. Shannon, I'll send you a, 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 a pic on Instagram. It was it was a video I, call. I did, Merman, I, it really doesn't involve me, sugar. It really doesn't. I want you to believe me. Unless K came to me and said, hey, this guy's fucking goddamn some kind of weirdo that's stalking me. It really isn't even my business, sweetie. I thought she was sweetie. alone at all. It, I don't. I don't know, and it doesn't. It's your history, not mine. It doesn't really. I don't have any. Yeah, no, we, no, but, but I'm yeah we have Vedas and Will Durant on the internet. Yeah, I'm not Will Durant. I don't even know who that is. Uh, you oh, know Vedas, right? Hey. Don't call me. Hey, Martin. welcome everybody. Hi, Ruffy baby. What's up, Rexy? Don't call me names, motherfucker. I'll... Jokers, baby. I'll slap you with a tiger claw. I don't like her, I love, man. I, I love your mom. I love your mom, son. Oh, I'm, I'm you two guys are gay as fuck. Uh, I'll be honest, yeah. DK. I really, it wasn't something that really I worried I'm sure about. She, it wasn't. I'm sure she hates you, motherfucker. Who? My mom, I'm sure he, she hates that Indian piece of shit being nasty to me. Okay, look. Uh, I'm not going to ask you again to stop <laughs> your fucking charged. Stop. Doesn't matter if he's Indian or not. Who gives a shit? An asshole's an asshole no matter what ethnicity it is. Y'all shit. 
That's and what they not, do. By the way, my mom is a beautiful, good woman, a Christian woman. So you say one yeah, thing she, about her. Yeah, 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 she is, stop, stop, stop. She is, stop, yeah, stop. She is hard. Well, Katie's not afraid of you and she doesn't feel sorry. So I don't feel like there's any thing about, 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 about my mom. I will fucking smash your what, teeth. Right? Smash your no, you going to reach through the internet and smash yeah, your face. She is, oh. Yeah, she is. She is hard. Merman, I'm going to have a talk with Alana and she's not going to like it. You go ahead and do that. I know Alana. <laughs> she's not going to like what you've been saying about her. <laughs> Well, this is. I thought she was K. So, well, well, you're she's crazy. made it very clear that that's not who she is, at all. And Merman's the one who's autistic. I didn't say K was autistic. So Merman has it wrong. And I don't remember who told me. I don't know if it was Alvaro or fucking uh, Merman. I know they were talking about it on panel, and then something was put backstage. I don't remember which one it was. It was one of them. No. But I don't I don't really it really doesn't matter because obviously K is not Alana. Okay, so. K is not Alana, that's fine. But I made the mistake of thinking that K was Alana. Yeah, well so it you, seems like so poor K's really been think. mistaken for a lot of fucking people lately, including me. I've mistaken her for other people too. So Okay, I don't know what to so tell you. I'm sorry. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm just telling you what I saw a couple days ago. It just it wasn't like mean or anything. It just basically said this is who this is, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, but it didn't even matter to me to begin with because I don't know who Alana is. So none of that Ruffy, was pertinent Ruffy, to my Ruffy life. Does. Ruffy knows who Alana is. That's okay. Yeah, that Ruffy's is. allowed to know people, and so is Kay, but she's obviously not Alana. Right. I know, I, I know Alana. You don't I know, know shit. Alana. Shut the fuck up. Who he is? Who he is? Actually, <laughs> who he <laughs> is? Right, right. Okay, whatever. So, is it okay if I mention you around Alana when I talk to her? Me, oh. Ruffy? Merman. Oh, Merman. All you got to say to her is, is I have no problem with her, and I wish. Her the best in her life, and no that's shit, it. Is done. I, I'm not so. Asking. At one point, uh, you thought she might have liked you for three months, or I share in early 2021. Yes, that is true. Yeah, I remember, and I got a lot of shit for that. People were saying I was grooming her and all this. Bullshit wow, when she was 25 <laughs> years old, and <laughs> I was 45 years old, and I wasn't doing anything but being nice to someone who I was connecting with because she had mental problems and I had mental problems and we were nice to each other. That's it. Yeah. So really? Well, my impression is is that she was younger and beautiful and he fell in love with her and then she dumped him for somebody else. She, she traded up for someone in New Mexico. Yeah. That's who would that be? I don't know who would that be. That was three years ago. But some some dude in New Mexico. Mm. Do you live close to Alana? No, but I go down to Miami a lot because I'm a big Miami Dolphins fan. Did you and plan on meeting up with her? Point of fact, she told me she would sneak out of her parents' house and meet me at my hotel when I went Ooh. there for a Dolphins game. In 2021, you didn't think that was weird, wow. man? That a 26 year old has to sneak out of her parents' house. <laughs> She'd have to take why would a 26 year old need to sneak out of her parents' house because she had <laughs> over controlling parents? Well, at 26, she's a full blown adult, man. That's a you know, <laughs> mid 20s person. Well, here's Don't the thing her them. parents are rich and she has a disability, so they got to really keep an eye on her. I have a disability mind. too, motherfucker. His name, his he's name, not, his he's name not, is Pastor not, Jay and Andrew. He's Andrew. not criticizing you. He's not even you, attacking you. He's just stating facts. She's obviously got some kind of disability and she's under the control of her parents. She's not the only one here. That so are a couple why people. A couple Shannon, people here have disabilities of some kind of nature and they are looked after <laughs> by their parents. Shannon. Hey, Mr. Sikanda. That is why me and her connected. 
Okay. My man from Pakistan. So it, can I assume, Ruffy, that My she brother. has autism? Yeah. Uh, she's very vulnerable. And I just. But yeah, so if... Merman has autism too. That's what he's oh. saying. They connected on that level because they were both autistic. What What did you. Asperger's. What did you vision of doing with her? I thought she was my true love. I mean, like, what did you vision? My true love. Like making love to her? No, my special person in my life that I would spend the rest of my life with. You wouldn't hit that or nothing? I mean... It does, Smokey. You... Come on now, don't lie She's to me. She's attractive. Of course she'd have sex with her, but I'm I'm saying... <laughs> Yeah, I, mean. I viewed her as someone that I would fall in love with. <laughs> it's not just like he <laughs> thought he found his match with somebody it's that was attractive and funny. on the, the lower scale of, of autism to Asperger's, and they were a perfect it's match not because they both funny. shared that. Merman. <laughs> hey, Merman, would you ever stick a He Man figurine up in there? He was in love. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Hi Jennifer. I remember him from Attila's Discord. Oh. But not everybody who is on the scale of autism is completely and totally incapable of taking care of themselves. There's a large scale when it comes to autism, but I can see where autistic people would find refuge in each other because they have this social awkwardness into which they don't communicate well with other people sometimes. So yeah, when you yeah, meet yeah. somebody yeah, else yeah. that suffers yeah. from that same affliction, you hope to have that empathy with them and share that with them. So I could see where that would be a problem, you know? Or you might you think that he found that a match with I, him, somebody that had autism. Uh, Mr. Rev, you, Mr. Rev, you saved him. Yeah, well, I want him to come back. I didn't mean anything. I, I would I would have no, destroyed him like anything in like, like 30 minutes. Come on, and Tash. I could walk yeah. mud through you, buddy. Quit talking, Tash. I can just laugh and destroy you all. <laughs> <laughs> what fantasy world do you live in? He likes delusion. They all do over there. They all think they're kings I and queens. Swear, and man. They own I'm people living, and that I'm, they're rich I'm and that they're above, above people. And then they want to call me a narcissist when they're the ones that come on here talking about how they need a higher caliber of people to hang around with. Ridiculous. You know what's crazy, Shannon. Shannon? Shannon. So I hear this guy talk about how intelligent he is, but he can't speak a proper sentence. I can't well, speak proper sentences. English is a second <laughs> language. Well, third language. That intelligent is. It's my it's my third language actually, and it's, I can it's still third language. Very well with you guys. Third okay. language. You might want to learn. Don't tell Tesh that. He thinks he speaks proper English. Uh. He thinks my American English is bastardized. <laughs> yes, exactly. He speaks Next 7 to 11. But what he doesn't understand is I can speak proper English and American style English because I'm American, but I also studied <laughs> fucking English. So... Yes, exactly. I was studied in English, so I know properly. So do I. So did I. In fact, Anytime. I've actually. Uh, never mind. I'm not even going to it. It makes Anytime. no difference. I, why am I arguing Anytime. with somebody who finds himself so <clears throat> unbelievably intellectual that he spends his time on my panel when he's been asked to leave so many times and not come back? So, I so mean, you, you guys... must not have very much self worth. I mean, if you want to continue to come here. Uh, so you guys know what I mean, to as an me intellectual, I would be insulted if anybody asked me to leave. I would never come back to their panel ever come because on, I have self worth. I, I don't want to contribute to where I'm not wanted. Tess, Tess, you on, just guys. you attacked Merman. You attacked Merman and accused him of no, having a taco truck. No, he started that he. He you accused him of having a taco truck. He, so that means he, he absolutely did. You are correct. You, you, you automatically assume that he was Mexican. Okay. So you were attacking his language. 
his accent. So don't even go there, Tesh. All right. Uh, if you, to be if honest, you want me to get as low as you, I can get as low as you, dude. Give, oh, give me a moment. Insane, give me a moment, please. He now started attacking me for no reason as soon as I joined this panel. That's what he well, said. He didn't attack me. you. He just told you that he loved uh, Indian spicy, women. Pour curry on spicy their pussy. pussy. Spicy pussy, yeah? Okay. But that's you not like you. It, I Your like pussy how is like pussy. ice cream. <laughs> I like how Ted yeah, says. Like you, speak, you speak horribly to me and about <laughs> no, me all the bitch. time. <laughs> all the yeah, time. I, I don't know why you think you get a pass and other people even, don't. I don't speak even this language. Why do you, you, language, language, pussy pussy guy, pussy why kind do you feel like you're above I everybody speak. else here? I have always respected what, what, what have you achieved in your life that is any different than I have that feel that you feel that you are above anybody else here? Tell me. I want to say something right now. I don't want to talk about Lana and Al anymore. But if an if if a if a if an Indian a hot Indian woman with big titties and a big girl, oh my god, Mermaid. If, if oh like my curry, god, Mermaid. stop, stop, Mermaid, oh. stop. I mean, stop, I happen to you know some real Indian women. I haven't talked to them in a while. Maybe I should notify them. Maybe I could get one. Hi, Justin, sweetheart. I haven't seen you in a few days. How are you? And that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. That is a sure, cultural sure. thing. If you they, meet a lot they of shows Korean, your class, actually, thing. Shannon. They are representing you on your... I respect the culture of India. I respect the Nobody's culture. Nobody's protecting right, me. I'm not talking about Mermaid. Indian women in any derogatory way he or Indian people in a derogatory way at all. I have lots of friends that are Indian. I have much respect for Indian people. I think they are beautiful. I love the fucking culture. I have no reason to complain about Indian people at all. They have the third eye. They believe in reincarnation. So what? I don't care. I don't take people for their fucking religious beliefs. As long as they're good people, I'm good with it. I don't tell people what to believe in. As long as they're not hurting anybody or... Taking advantage of innocence, then I don't have any fucking place in this world to tell people what to worship, what to love, who to love, why they should love them. I'm just another fucking human being on this planet. I'm not God. I don't enact justice. I don't tell people what to do and how to do it. But you're good to me. I'm good to you. If you respect me, I respect you. It's very simple. For me. I don't complicate it with why, ethnicity. Why are, they, why are they even talking about women? To be fair. Give me Mermaid, we heard fit. it. We heard it. We heard it, Mermaid. To be fair, the untouchable community in India, that is a very unfair thing how they're treated. They have to treat they have to clean the shit out of the sewers. Well, yeah, they live under a castle. No, no, we, no, nowadays we bring them from Mexico and Africa. You just had them. They are cheap. Now. See, now that's that's fucking yeah, right. cheaper, yeah. that that is like super fucking racist. Mexico. <clears throat> you may have to drop the hammer, sh hammer, hammer shanty. I'm just saying, if, uh, if I can say it. <clears throat> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, well, we just like, buy them. The in I'm trying to stop them from being racist, and then you're adding to racism. We right. don't see the hypocrisy in that. You have a problem with Hispanic people, sir? I love Taco Bell. Not you. Cash, <laughs> you have a problem with Hispanic people? First of all, Merman's not Hispanic. I, no, I, I, I have many friends. Why do you keep on talking about people and taco trucks and shit like that? My because husband was half Hispanic. My children he, he, he are partially like Hispanic. Me. Don't just speak like about he my just, family that way. Do you understand? He just sounds like I so am done listening like to your racist shit. I am a white American, god damn it. He started. Who cares? You are not white. Who you are blue. cares? <laughs> You're looking at a profile picture, stupid. Oh my fucking oh, god. Dude. I'm gonna throw you fucking both off. Nope. Shut the fuck up already. So say one more racist saying? thing, Tesh. I don't even want you here to begin with. Now, I'm trying to Mermaid. calm down this whole Indian thing because I fucking love Indian people, all right? I have lots of friends that are Indian that I don't appreciate people speaking I do about. Too. 
I do too. Yeah, quit, quit, so quit shut quit the fuck up about, about it already. I love India. Yes, quit talking about it. We God. know. Yeah, I think Smurman's Hispanic for some reason. Or he's just got a problem with Mexicans. I've I've listened to him make three fucking racist comments about Mexicans. I had a roommate in college who was Indian. We already know this, Merman. Just I saying. Have, just I'm not yelling at you I or anything no like this. With, I have no problem with But Indian. we keep we keep hearing you repeat the same thing over and over again. I want to make it an abundant but bumble to clear. I, I like Indian people and Indian yes. women are beautiful. We, we well, we've it. already heard that 90,000 fucking times okay. already. All right. Thanks, Shannon. Shannon now you're just doing Dane overkill. And me are the stone ones. <laughs> We're supposed to repeat ourselves. I am completely <laughs> sober. Best comment ever. Hi, Winky. 90,000 fucking times. <laughs> well, then Shannon and I are the only ones stone. Who are the stone people? <laughs> me. 90,000 fucking times. I'm I am so completely sober, and I've heard the same it's, lines. It's two in the morning. I'm definitely times. stoned by now. Hmm. It's five o'clock in the morning where I'm at. Yeah. Right. All right. Hi, B. Does Does tomorrow? Oh, by the work? way, Shannon, I'm 43 years old in two days. Nice. Uh, Happy birthday coming up, sweetheart. Happy birthday, Mister. Whoever you are, all things. This is serious. Yeah. Serious. This is Tesh. I don't yeah. know why I'm bothering yeah. introducing you. He's not even really supposed to be here. I don't know why he haunts my panel. I don't my have any problem with Tesh. I want him India. to go away. Uh, hey, Tesh, what are your thoughts on Sri Lanka? I heard they're bankrupt. Yeah, they're bankrupt. I mean, it's China is taking over them. Yeah, they have, they have been intruded on. That's tough. Trying to trying to take over everything. Tesh and everybody he surrounds himself has been terrible to me. I don't want anything to do with him or any of his friends at all. And especially Shannon. after after Shannon. I don't I don't want anything to do with any of them. Uh, Shannon, with all due respect, do you think anybody can be my friend? I'm Indian. You I don't care. Are, you, I don't need you your friendship. What, what, they, you, what gives you the impression they, I want your friendship? Where in India are, are, are you in New same. Delhi? Same. What gives, what gives you the friends. impression I am interested in your friendship? I think I've told you to leave yes. here 150 yeah. billion times. Are you in Mumbai? 150 billion times. Similarly, yeah, they are your are not right. my friend. Yeah. That hotel that got it. Why are you here? Nobody here is interested in being your friend. You think you're so high above people? Go be with the people you want to be your friends. If that's not the people here, why are you here? He should be with Indian so, people. So hey, similarly, they are, they are not my friend. They are not friend. None of us are your clean. friends. I'm not your friend either. You're very it, nasty yeah. towards me. Hitesh, nasty towards me too. Have you ever talked uh, to a clinically insane individual before? Have you ever talked to somebody who is papered mentally? I've been very good to Tesh over the years. There's no reason for his complete <laughs> disrespect of me or any of his friends. They think it's funny. They think it's cute. I don't think it's funny and it's cute. Nope, I think it's shitty not. and I think it's what mental midgets do. And I don't want anything uh, to do with him or his friends. And for however high Shannon. caliber he believes he is and however yeah. great he feels he is, that kind of behavior uh -huh. falls short of what I think is intellectual. Yep mature or any kind of way shape or form above station in anything in fact i find that low level troglodyte type behavior that uh mimics <laughs> fucking children in grade school like a troll yeah, okay. Okay. Troglodyte thank, you. Troll. thank you for your feedback thank you for your you're feedback. welcome I will anytime I will, I you can increase yourself and send me like Patesh, if you're such an intellect if you're so mature if you're such a high caliber person you are more than welcome to excuse yourself anytime you, like. anytime you like anytime you like sir yeah, well, well I mean shit it's the same on the big map. So, that's what I was trying to explain that do you think they they guys are my friends? No, they are not. They talk shit about me behind my back. Oh, well, you want to have a conversation? No, if you ain't here, we don't talk about you. We could give two shits about you. 
He's not I'm talking not about you. you guys. He's talking about the people I talk about him hanging around with in their panels that he goes on that he talks about. I have asked, well, I I have have asked this son of a too. bitch a hundred times, where in India is he? Is he in Mumbai or New Delhi? He's not going to tell you that. He's Goa. got his own enemies out there. He's not going to tell you exactly where he is in India. Tesh had a bad day at the call center, and now he's come here to take it out on everybody else. That's what's up. What Atej is trying to part Thank upon you. me Probably is the good. people that he walks around and acts like he's in a group of friends with aren't his friends. Thank you. Call again. He says they talk shit behind his back all the time. Well, you do it to other people, Tesh. I, I was your friend. I would have been you. good Call to again. you until the end of time. But you chose that type of route. So that's the that's the route you got to walk. Those were That's where you hook your cart to horse. Thank you. Call again. You, you picked the wrong people to uh, associate yourself with. Now you're stuck with them. No, I'm not. Stuck. You are. Thank You've you. affiliated yourself with them. They're they're group of they people. Speak. You ran around here screaming their names. I would love to leave YouTube um, chats forever. Well, then you should. What's stopping you? Yes. Yes, yes, All you yes. got to do is be a nice person, and then everyone will reciprocate that kindness. My man, I've got several single friends from another You don't country. understand, Merman. I've known Atesh for years now. Years and years and years. Years upon years. There's so much that has gone down between myself, Atesh, and these people that it has wedged a gigantic fucking goddamn wedge in between us forever. And Atesh knows it. Mark. Atesh knows that I've been unfairly filleted all over the fucking place. He could have fucking yes, been a good yes. friend to me. I would have always been good a good friend to him. He chose yeah, to go a different good to direction. Be multicultural. It's good to be multicultural. He chose to go a different direction. He decided to get on the fucking Shannon shit smear train. So I don't know why he's here. Because I would never do that to him. And because he's done that to me, I don't know what he wants from me. Like, if I did that to him, he wouldn't no, be I, I, talking no, to me. No, I, don't, no, I don't want anything from me. I love cats. I would, I would adopt us a couple of kittens. Yeah, I don't Merman, want anything would from you be willing to talk to a attractive uh, person from overseas if I ever brought them on here? Would you be able to cam up with them so y'all could kind of, you know, Cord each other okay, out. it's a little bit more complicated than that, I'm afraid. Because I have kicked him a million times, and I've asked him nicely. I have kicked him rudely. I've kicked him any way, shape, and form all over the place. You can ask him. I keep on kicking him and kicking him and kicking him. And he just keeps coming back like the clap. Why Under do different you things, me, different baby. things. And, you know, I mean... At some point, you have to hear somebody out to see what the issue is, right? Because they won't, you know, you have to problem solve. You can't just keep on doing the same thing every day. It becomes monotonous. Like I string two or three times a day sometimes, and they keep coming back. So at some point, I have to problem solve this issue. I have to let him up on panel. I have to let him say his piece. I have to try to respond in a way that interacts with him on a level that I resonates a, with him I so we can, we I can understand I each other because this I is a non-stop cycle with these people like non-stop miss shannon miss shannon i have a request for you uh, what's that can Tash? you please block my can you please block all my six accounts i do not i always do why do you unblock me I all always, the time always always do but and you, you come still up on unblock panel. me every week. I block you everywhere. I block you in here tonight. You come up on panel. I block you. I have plenty of your alts blocked on my panel. Stream yard as well. Plenty of block them. Me stream yard. Stream yard. I blocked them on stream yard too. Then why am I here? How am I here? Because you asked me to unblock you like 24 hours ago. So you could speak to me. Oh, yeah. So I'm giving you that opportunity shit. and somehow that makes me a bad person. Look, I don't back down from anybody and I'm willing to speak to anybody on an adult mature level. Period. You guys aren't going to cyber bully me off with trolling. It doesn't work that way. 
you want to talk to me like a normal human being and you want to speak to me on a level as an adult, I am willing to have a conversation. I am not going to tolerate emotional boobery and trolling Dick, as an acceptable him. form of Dick communication and, on my panel oh, nor in my chat. If you don't have enough self-control not to come here, then you're not going to have enough self-control if I block your fucking goddamn things. You're just going to make new ones. That's no what more. you do. Pretty much. I want to talk we can, to you we, about we cannot have a proper conversation if we have this merman kind of person over here. I want to talk he, to Merman you about... hasn't said anything in 10 minutes. It's only been me talking. He is shouting like it's been like two hours. He's shouting on me. I just Lori's. wanted to ask you about. I the don't know him even. I just wanted to ask you about your opinion of the Hotel Mumbai Hello, terrorist, hockey. terrorist attack in 2008. Interesting. Uh, yeah. You know, people can it. boast and they can say whatever they want. Doesn't make it fucking true, like at all. You can't have a conversation like, people with talk this shit all the time. They say they're rich. They say they're good looking in chat. Who the fuck cares? People say shit all the fucking time. You guys believe everything that fucking comes out of some retard's mouth in a fucking unwanted chat room? Then you're ridiculous. You're fucking ridiculous. Nobody fucking believes people like that. If you do, Why, you shouldn't be on the internet. Why can't I talk to him about the terrorist attack in Mumbai in 2008? That's a long Why time ago. Why do you need to talk to him about that? Nobody's talking about terrorist attacks. Oh, yeah. yes. I wanted to get his opinion. Why is that a, a topic movie? of a conversation you want to have with him? There's yeah. a movie He's about not even it. here for you, Merman. He's here uh, for me. There's, there's a movie, movie about, about it. Of there's a movie about, about a lot of things. Hotel Mumbai. Yeah. Well, you're welcome Hotel to Rwanda. think that all you want. I don't. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. That's honestly. a fucked up movie too. Yeah. That's the only thing they know. You guys know? got that right. Shut up, Atesh. You're fucking saying just as racist shit as anybody else, and you're being a narcissistic asshole. I don't know what you want from me. I don't want your friends hanging out here. I don't want you hanging out here. You think you're such a fucking high and mighty uppity person? Go do that in Vegas. Go go Shannon. brag in Vegas. I don't care about your shit. Shannon, my last sorry, my not last sorry. Sentence. I don't care. My last sentence for you is: Do not uh, unblock me. Do not oh, okay. kick me I out from this place. Yeah, do not please. Let me complete. Let me. Not me. Yeah, me complete. Bye, Let me not later. Me. Yeah, it, like it's your responsibility, Shannon, to police this guy. Yeah, like I have to instead of him fucking having fuck. a little shred a conversation of indignity. So I don't care. Whatever. I don't just, he can go fucking kick rocks. He gives a shit. Well, I mean, if I you, try to give everybody the opportunity to fucking redeem themselves at any given point in time if they want to speak to me like a normal person. I don't give a shit who thinks that's a fucking problem or not. You know, as soon as they run their own fucking streams and handle their own fucking business, then. Then they can talk about me. People spend half as much time worrying about what the, I do on this fucking stream as they did themselves. They all be fucking rich and supermodels, and nobody'd have to be here. That's just the fucking it's truth of the matter. Yeah, that's the best. Really way easy to, to sit on the fucking sidelines and tell people how to run their shit when they don't know hardly anybody in that scope to begin with. Okay, that's the best well, way to raise a, ch a cat is if you get it as a kitten and then you raise it from the kitten age. Hi, Gail. How goes it? Sorry, I thought I heard water. Hi, Richie. This is the best way to raise a cat. All right, Shannon. I'm going to head off to bed. All right, serious. Love you. Happy almost birthday. I'll probably see you on my birthday. Okay, good, because I'll sing to you. And I have All the right. best voice in the world. Not really, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good, good night. night. Yeah, have there, a good there is nothing wrong with loving cats. Well, oh. Merman, she's talking loving about loving you is easy. Where's their drama so at, Adrian? There's drama somewhere else. I want you to, you know, well, not, not you know, good. don't talk about things that will offend them. Just try to be, you know, a little more general in the topics you talk about. You know, ask them what they. 
like eating, you know, simple things like uh, what do you like to do? Things like that. Not all the ball things. I get along well with the I get along well with the Filipino but women. listen, I guarantee you they will be attractive whichever one I get on here in the future. So <laughs> I'll need you to cam up with them if you would please. By the way, Hitesh is backstage once a fucking again. Yeah. Rant and raving some more. Uh, there you go. Ban your other fucking thing from my fucking panel. There's nothing wrong your with Your wish is my command, Hitesh. Be careful for what you wish for. Yeah, it seems like Hitesh only joins to like try to damage our calm. I mean, what is up with that? And and rough nose. It doesn't damage my con my con. He just looks <laughs> stupid. Well, I mean, he damages my. Looks by like a pathetic, desperate shit. fool coming on my panel all the fucking time. When I basically, I've appealed to him in every way to take his fucking shit and keep it moving. You know, I don't care what he says about me anywhere else. I don't care what he does. I don't care. I I've washed my hands of those people. They've proven themselves to be. Vile individuals that fucking can't discern fucking real life from fucking chat, and I have no desire to intertwine with them anymore at all. Are they all in the slightest way, shape, or form? I don't care what they say do about me. I don't go to their shit. I don't sub to them. He only hangs out with Indian people. No, he hangs out with a bunch of fucking people. None of them are Indian. Maybe one or two. Well, shit. You can't have a conversation with that motherfucker. I don't know, but all I know is anybody who believes that they are better than other people and have the fucking gonads to come up on panel and say such doesn't have any room on my panel. I cannot stand conceited people. There's a difference between confidence and there's a difference between conceited arrogance. And I don't like arrogant people. I don't care if he thinks he's better than other people. It doesn't make it true. I don't care if he runs back to the chat and acts like he trolled the shit out of me. It doesn't make it true. The fact of the matter is he made himself look like a unsophisticated fucking asshole who is desperately thirsty for attention and has to use my panel to do it. That's just the reality of the situation. You guys can make it out to whatever you want. I find what they do juvenile and mentally stunted. I have no respect for any of them and the things that they do. I have no respect for the things that they have done with calling people's works or wellness checks or exposing people's children. And I think anybody that sits next to him is just as vile as they are or weak one or the other. Either way, none of those people need to sit with me because I am not a fake fuck and I don't entertain people being fake fucks for views nor donations. So it makes no difference to me who likes me and who doesn't like me. I'm going to still keep doing me no matter what. And whoever's fucking here for the ride, you're welcome. Whoever wants to go can fucking kick rocks. Doesn't matter to me in the slightest way, shape, and form because I know what I'm doing and I know how I feel about things and I understand my intentions and I know how I engage people and I have nothing to feel guilty about at all and I never will. That's my advantage here. I don't do shitty things to people. They can make up shit all they want. They can gossip all they want, but the proof is in the pudding. And the fact is, is I've never done any of the shit that they've done to me, to them or their families ever. Never. And that's just the reality of the situation. And when I hang up this fucking goddamn stream, I don't fucking go around and look for ways to fucking deep dive into anybody's life or call their fucking families or, you know, troll them. I have better things to do, like eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and watch Looney Tunes. Because that's even more mature than that. Yeah. Sadly. I'm not a troll hut farm. Not here to fucking take care of fucking people. They have to they have to deal with their own fucking bullshittery. All I do is provide a place for some people to talk, and if people don't like it, they don't have to come here. It's very simple. Do you do you get Krispy Kreme in California? Yeah. We do. We even have them in supermarkets. They're delivered to supermarkets every day, like Walmart. Do you like Krispy Kreme? 
Yeah, they're better than Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know about that. I like the old-fashioned mom-and-pop donut stores that have old-fashioned donuts, like, you know, the ones that are filled with jelly and shit that aren't, like, rounds, you know? It's actually kind of fun if you go to a specific Krispy Kreme store and you, and they have a see-through place where you can watch how they make the donuts. They have, you know, one, they have one of them in Maryland. See, on I do know how it goes here. That's why I don't associate with any of these people at all. At all. I'm done. I don't, I don't need to involve myself in this shit. They align themselves with the same fucking people that do disgusting things to their fucking children, to them. They want to keep in that toxic swill of shit. They're welcome to do so. I'd rather hang out with the IP2 RRL people because at least they fucking tell me when they're fucking being assholes. They don't fucking pretend to be your fucking friend and then sit next to people that abuse you the whole fucking time and hold their hands and act like they're good people and give them some elevation. At least they point out who the fuck the dickheads are. I'll give them that. There may be more fucking open dickheads in IRL, but at least they're fucking not undercover covert fucking weirdos. They are what they are. Over there on that side of the fucking fence, they're covert stalking fucking weirdos that fucking dox people's children, call their fucking works, interfere with their marriages. They're married. They're fucking taking on e-relationships. It's all over there, and they all sit next to each other as they fuck each other over every day and act like it's okay. I don't want anything to do with people like that. Nothing. There's nothing to gain from anyone like that, ever. There's only shit to lose. That's it. And I'm uninterested in anything that they have to say or do. And everybody that was on that fucking panel tonight sitting next to fucking BB, you're dead to me. Don't even come here. Anybody that's involved with that woman at all and the things that she's done, her or Rusty, don't fucking come to my channel. You're not welcome here. You guys are dead to me. Allowing that shit to go on and fucking sitting there. Whoa, wait, did we lose Shannon? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, well, me. Okay. I have a lot of sweat on my forehead. Sitting next anyway. to them and coddling um, them and embracing them in your community. Fuck you. That's all I got to say. You guys can all fucking drop dead. I hope she does to you what she's done to me. Her and Rusty both. That way you can sit next to them while they fucking disparage you, lie about you, and abuse your fucking children because that's what you invite in. Don't come to my fucking stream. None of you. Everybody that was on that fucking screenshot, that clip on that panel that was sitting next to that fucking woman, X yourself out of my fucking goddamn life. You understand? Don't even come lurk here. Get the fuck out of my life. You guys are weirdos. You're fucked up. And I'm tired of fucking dealing with you. I wash my hands of you. I honestly do. Hmm. What, what you guys get now is your fucking problem. Stay away from me. Fucking losers. Fucking nasty fucks. The fuck's wrong with you? You deserve that cancer that's coming to your fucking place. Seriously. And you deserve whatever they fucking hand out to you because you guys allow that shit to happen. You act like it's okay. It's not fucking okay. Just like it's not okay to fucking say the N-word over and over again. It's not fucking okay. And the more you accept it and the more you embrace people that do it, the more it happens. And no, there's no consequences for it. So fuck you all. Everybody on that fucking panel, everybody in that fucking chat room that supported that fucking human being doing that and that other fucking human being doing that doesn't deserve any attention. Period. You're horrifying people. You're vile. Each and every one of you. Hey, Resonate, what up? Okay. I'll drop a link. Anyways, I'm going to get off here. Thanks for having me up here. And just, you know, you've got to hey, ignore Ruffy, It's people. always a pleasure to have you. Yeah. yeah. Always I'll a pleasure a to have one. you. I'm sorry that you and Merman are like in a thing. I don't know who Alana is, so I really can't speak upon that. Like I said, somebody was giving me 
information. I don't even remember if it was Merman or Arvello. It's one, it was one of them about the whole Alana situation. I didn't mean any bad shit by it. I just, I was just saying it in passing. So maybe I could find him a very gorgeous person to come up here and talk to. Him. That would yeah. be nice. I'm sure Man Merman would enjoy. Yeah, that. if they got oh, time, you know, yeah, they're in cool. another country, so. Maybe they'll pop up sooner or later. Thank you, Gina. Well, you guys have a good night. <laughs> good night, Ruffy. All right, bro. Said what a million times in the stream. How did he make his, his letters lowercase? Font. Font on, yeah. I expect them to fucking not engage anybody that does that kind of shit and she's a fucking terrible person and they're all fucking dead to me now and go fuck themselves. I I wish upon them everything that she's done to me times 10. She's already fucked with JC and a few hundred other people there. I don't know why people keep on sitting next to her. And to watch that fucking happen the way it happened, the way she fucking posted my daughter's cosmetology license and shit. Fuck you people. Seriously, don't fucking come around me anymore. You guys sit with that fucking disgusting bitch. You own her now. All her shit is your shit now. Enjoy. Go fuck yourselves. Don't come around me. I don't want anything to do with any of you. None of you. None of you. Not one of you. Hi, Indy, baby. <laughs> How are you, sweetie? How's the I wife? I okay. All okay. Good, I'm good. Okay. I didn't let him up. It was JC's panel. JC came up for one night. They all fucking sat up there, fucking why they watched that all shit, all that shit happen. Fuck them. They're <laughs> dead to me. Every single one of them. They can go fuck themselves. They deserve that fucking bitch. None of those people are my fucking friends. None of them. They're not friends to themselves either. They have no fucking self-esteem. They'll tolerate everything. And I'm done. How I don't do fucking I, care who they are. How do I uh, look at the chat stream? Uh, all I you have, have to do... I don't know if you're... What are you on? Are you on a Samsung or an Apple? iPhone or San or a or a Android. HP. He's an HP computer. Computer, yes, yes, that's where. Oh, I'm you're at. on a computer. You on should, I, I don't know what the dashboard looks Look like. From on private computer. chat to comment. From private chat to comment. Okay, thank you. I see it. Yes, I see it. Thank you. And hey, then you Shannon. Can see the chat from you from YouTube. Thank you. What do you mean, hey? I miss reading. Who is rich? Hockey 87 says we're all rich. I'm so I'm not rich. This stuff. Yeah. I don't think Janie's leaving. I think Ruff was leaving. You know, the other person that's always up there is fucking one of other one of somebody that fucks with Shan Cam too. And they, they just watch that shit and act like it doesn't fucking happen. Fuck those people. Seriously. Fuck them in the ass with big, huge dildos. I'm done with them. Fuck those. Never fucking deal with those people again. I don't care if they don't like me. I don't like them. Fuck them. Mm. There's a reason why I don't go over there because that's the kind of shit they do. They're fucking low-level losers, man. They fucking have no problems fucking doing that shit to each other. Ooh. So fuck them. They deserve each other. All of them. And everybody who comes in here and acts like they're my fucking friend, you might as well fucking see yourself out. I don't give a fuck. Everybody that was on that fucking panel tonight can eat my fucking dog turds. I'm serious. 
Not even my turds, my dog's turds. You can get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. I'm fucking done with that shit. Seriously. Fuck them all. I have no idea how this shit works. Nah, I'm sorry, Indiana. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just old, dude. You, I'm you old, look sorry. fine. Where are you? I from? don't fucking care about it. I wash my <laughs> hands over it. I don't. I'm. I'm no longer fucking in the realm. They need to stop coming to my fucking chat. That's the whole fucking thing. They need to stop coming to my motherfucking chat. And I do care about people fucking doxing fucking kids and calling fucking cops. And every time this fucking happens, it doesn't matter if it's me or somebody else. I make the same statement over and over again. There's a reason why certain people aren't allowed here anymore. And it's because of what they fucking done on the internet to other people and myself, including doxing, lying, defamement, making fucking videos, editing my pictures, doxing my children, doxing my dead husband, uh, whatever. And I certainly don't have to act like I don't care about that. That is some evil fucking shit. Doesn't shake me hate. Nothing shakes me about it. I'm making a fucking statement. People are fucking cretins. They need to stay the fuck away from me and my fucking family. Each and every one of them. Go back to those fucking channels where you eat each other alive. Just two weeks ago, fucking Tiffany or whatever, a few months ago, right before she decided to fucking have a war with me, she was at it with BB and JC. And JC and BB were at it with each other. BB was trying to fucking get shit on JC where she said she wouldn't let Rusty on. And Rusty's constantly fighting with everybody. I, I, fuck them all. Seriously. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. <laughs> they deserve each other. Stay the fuck away from me and my fucking family. And don't fucking sit next to people you watch fucking dox my children and act as if that you are my friends or that you give a fuck about what happens on the fucking internet. Because you fucking don't. For you, it's all about the fucking attention. That's it. So fuck you. Fucking sellouts. Fucking spineless fucking cowards. Each and every one of you. You don't know how to fucking stand up for yourself. So busy placating for the sycophants. Fuck you fuckers. You deserve whatever's coming your way. I'll just sit back and laugh while it happens. They'll fucking eat you alive too. They'll get bored with me. They'll find somebody else to fucking attack. Somebody else they pisses them off for telling the truth about them. Because they're fucking assholes. They'll move on. Just don't fucking come here and act like I'm going to do shit for you. You can go fucking suck some cocks. How's that? Where are you from, Indiana? <laughs> Indiana? I'm from Indiana. It's not Indi- about my feelings, hey? I'm from Indiana. It's about what people are doing to people, period. It isn't even just about me. I speak about out about this all the fucking time. 20 miles south of Indianapolis. Are you a Colts fan, Indiana? Not really. I used to be, but not really. Lucas Oil Stadium is a beautiful stadium. Yes, it is. Yes, I've been there two times, I think. Yes. It's stuff so expensive, you can't get out no more. Do you like the Pacers, too? I don't really watch. I like college basketball. I don't like pro basketball really too much. I don't think they give the effort. Indiana is a very flat state. There's no mountains. There is is in southern Indiana. But northern Indiana, yes, it's flat. It's like It's, it's a very boring drive. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, very much. (laughs) <laughs> I've lived here all my life. I ain't going nowhere. I'm from Maryland. Yeah. I've driven to Chicago before, and Indiana's boring. <laughs> yes, it is boring. <laughs> Sometimes well, boring is good. But I've been to Indiana for the, for a Colt Dolphins hey, Jimmy Tons, what up? at the... um. At the Lucas Oil Stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. Yes. 
Yes. My daughters actually went to uh, Lucas Oil Stadium a couple, two or three nights ago to watch some country singer. That dude that threw that chair off the stage, threw that chair through the window in Nashville. They went to his concert like four or five days ago. I don't know. Mm. Do you know how much some tickets cost nowadays? I don't know, but I know that Taylor Swift, she, that bitch costs a lot of money. Yes, dude. I can't believe the money that they charge for that stuff, man. It's like, wow. I want to see Bruce Springsteen in September. I saw you say that earlier. Yes. Yeah, that's only going to be my seventh concert ever. I saw the Born in the USA concert with Bruce Springsteen back in the day. It's one of the best concerts I've ever seen. That was his, I think that was his most popular album in the 80s. The Born yes. in the USA album. Yes, it was a good concert. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to figure out is, how do I go look at the, the regular chat? I, I see the backstage chat, but I don't it's see. Click, okay, comments. private chat, click on comments. Okay. Hit, hit comments. You should be able to see the chat. And then you'll see the regular chat from what is in the normal chat. Dude, I'm so old. <laughs> Do you like steak and shake? Yes, they have good fries. Good burgers, the, too. The Frisco melt is divine. The Frisco melt. Yes. But I don't get that we much. You don't, don't have steak and shake in Maryland. <laughs> My son makes fun of me because I've been left so far behind about this technical stuff. It's a fucking crazy, man. <laughs> what, what, what do it you have in Tom? That when you hit comments, it should come up. You should get a little a scrolling box underneath it. it. Should be under your picture. If you hit comments or chat, sometimes it's chat, not comments. You see a chat button and then comments. Yep. So yes. But it says connect. I'm connecting. Yeah, it's going to open up a separate browser page to go in the YouTube chat. But you should just be able to see regular comments. I don't know why it's yeah, sitting. It should, to... it should show up. It shows up for me. Just I I see you guys chatting. I assume that it's like backstage. I see you chatting. Can you see the last? Nobody's comment? chatting backstage right now. There's nobody oh. chatting the backstage. The last comment right made is by Mr. Mr. Yawn, just, okay. I don't it, know what you mean. What so I mean. that's that's the regular chat that I would look at normally if I Correct. wasn't. Okay, right. then I'm, the I'm backstage here. chat is private. So there's okay. nobody talking backstage right now at all. Correct. The last thing that was said backstage privately was HP computer. That's that's what you put back there. Okay, I'm here. I'm good. Okay. Hey, okay. Make, that you nasty make, person you make me here. nervous. That when nasty you person is here, Shannon. Mr. Big Pipes. Okay. You make me nervous when you focus Sorry. on you me. Want, you want, what do you want to say? Sorry, Adiana. It's, it's okay. I don't you mean to make to, you nervous. You want to see my action figure collection. I don't give a fuck. So show me your action figure collection. You want, you want to see my fucking uh, Black Series collection? I don't give a shit. Yo, I'm so person. over that other fucking sector over there, man. Fuck those people, seriously. They're fucking garbage. They're trash, man. Trash ass people doing trash ass things. Yeah, he called you the nasty person. He is Just a nasty big person. Pipes. He's a seventies piece of shit asshole, hateful motherfucker giving me shit over a Lana Owl, which uh, is disgusting. Was it him? I thought it was Alvaro. No, it was him.
You fancy yourself, don't you, Biggie? It's interesting. It's always interesting what people project as themselves when in reality they're probably far from that mm -hmm. or think that of themselves to begin with. That's why they got to project it. See, when people are really fucking cool and people are really fucking neat and they're really fucking smart, they don't have to tell people. People just fucking know. Indiana is a very Republican state. Yes, it is. Very conservative. Ain't got nothing to do with me. You're good, Gina. Nothing's really going on anyways. Mr. Big Pipes has made his entrance into the fucking arena. I'm sure he's going to come and fuck with Merman. Because he's probably I drunk. Did, and I did nothing to this Big Pipes. I did nothing to him. And he you just called him a bad man when, upon arrival. Right, but I didn't do anything before. <laughs> I have justification. <coughs> well, I have learned that you don't have to do anything to people at all in order for them to dislike you. Well, he disliked me from the get-go. Oh, well. Can't worry about people that dislike you. There's going to be plenty of them on the internet. That's the way the internet works. I don't fucking worry about it. All I know is that people that help other people hurt innocent people are not my fucking friends, and I wash my hands of those fucking people. I don't care. I don't care if I have fucking a half a fucking goddamn brain cell left. I will never sit with people that fucking help people do that kind of shit ever. It's disgusting. Horrifying. I just hope their children are safer than mine. Somebody had a pussy, pussy fit because they're an over emotional boob. But they want to dish it, but they can't take it. So they got to fucking fuck with innocent people. They're fucked up. Where's that? What is that? It's not me. Hey, so today my wife is taking her mom to uh, it's the basketball stadium downtown Indianapolis to see some opera singer. He's blind. I don't know who he is, but the tickets cost like six hundred dollars, man. The Pacers Arena. Yes, the Pacers Arena. That's cool, Gil. I forget what the name is. But it's just I don't fucking hang out with people that do that kind of shit. I can't believe the cost of the tickets anymore. It's outrageous. Yeah, no, I mean the fucking everything is outrageously expensive these days. I I mean like I ordered a fucking Big Mac fries and two double cheeseburgers and it cost me $35 on DoorDash. I was like, "Motherfuckers." Yeah. I remember when cheeseburgers were 99 cents. What the hell? DoorDash is overly overcharges you. Well, I have a I have a membership there, so I don't get I don't pay fees or anything like that. But still, I mean they they're at, they're definitely adding money to the. I mean everybody's raising their prices and fast food. It's all becoming really shitty, and nobody's getting an increase in their fucking wage. So it's getting Just more and more difficult to afford regular things these days. Just order a pizza. Pizza's yes. expensive too. It's all expensive. Um. Hello, how are you? See, this guy looks like a friendly person. Hello, Shir. Hello, Shir. How are everybody in the chat? Hello, how are you? That's Welcome a nice, to Saturday night. That's a nice mustache. Yeah, it's very. It's a Saturday nice. morning. Uh, yes, it's a Saturday afternoon, almost afternoon. He has a beautiful mustache. Thanks, Mama. One thing that that I want to clear you that I am not very good in English. 
So if I misunderstood something, are you the teacher? So I, yes, I am a teacher. Yeah, you're the but teacher the that came teacher. on captain's panel the other day, right? With the kids at school. Yes. Oh, okay. You know you shouldn't do that, by the way. I, I know they like to be seen, uh, but you shouldn't no, do that. No. Well, no, people I, here I, I, are, are, not so, are not no. so nice to children. Because, no, children get motivated when they see the people watching them and they when they uh, do try something like that. They want to show people and they get motivated by that. Yeah, but here's the thing: they don't. Children don't know what's safe for them or not. That's why they have parents. And that's why they have I, I know. That oversee I, I, them. I know that, but because no, I'm I know trying, that I'm not they trying to make you feel bad, language. but you shouldn't put underage children on people's panels. You don't know who's in those rooms. You don't know if their image is going to be taken and masturbated to. You don't know if they're going to be I, followed by somebody. Oh, it's a oh, public, yes, it's a public like, place. That's why. No. That's why you shouldn't bring children on the panel. Even if it motivates them or not, put them yes. on a channel that is for children. That is not an ISIS flag, okay. Mr. Yon. Okay, okay got I, it. That is not an ISIS flag. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Why were you curious on this? What the fuck is that noise? Uh -huh. Curry causes a lot of flatulence, Shannon. <laughs> 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 merman, are, come on. You, are you farting, Merman? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> not what, me. what in the heck? Somebody sleeping next to you? Is it a snore? <laughs> it's not me. I'm wide awake. Well, then what the hell is that noise? <laughs> Someone got the tooth? What's happening? <sighs> what? What? <in> the <laughs> <laughs> oh, it ain't me and it ain't Indiana. It's, it's, it's the mustache. <laughs> hey, that's a nice mustache. You know how long it probably takes to cultivate a mustache like that? <laughs> oh, Lord. You need one year. Huh? <laughs> you need one year to grow that kind of mustache. Part takes years. <laughs> <laughs> Merman, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> what in God's name is going on this panel this evening? I am He's not <laughs> <laughs> Indian curry party. <laughs> Why Mama was laughing so much? What someone, in the heck is that? There's someone in your bed that's farting. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I don't know who, but someone is. I don't know. You got to take what that. What in the hell is that noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's you, here. You, you got somebody in your bed farting next to you. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Who is There's that? No I don't know. Maybe they're Diana. No, no. It ain't me. I don't have anyone next <laughs> look, to me. Look, this is the only thing sitting next to me. He's it's my dog. He's got a doggy. It's my dog. I, I think she the dog it. must be farting. <laughs> I know. I, I would know it. <laughs> Honestly, I can't hear nothing. But actually, I'm totally deaf in my right ear. Every once in a while, I goes, can't hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's making a fart. It's that literally making like a farting a, noise every so like often. Snore, to be honest with you, it sounds more like a snore. It does. It sounds like a snore fart for sure. It sounds. It sounds like his butt snoring. Is what it sounds like. Are you snoring, baby? Uh, uh, Shannon, I think it's a moment that's farting and playing to others. 
I don't know. Or is somebody please, snoring please, next to you, Merlin? In room. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> Somebody's got somebody over there that's either snoring or farting or uh, it's something that's happening. I I don't know what it is. It is but not it's, me, I swear. It's definitely I, something happening there. I wish I, I could take alone, credit for the fart room. genius. No one is here. There's no one here either. It's like a fucking election year. You guys got some kind of fart distraction going on. I don't know what the hell it is. I think mama you you are yourself. Uh, hey, Linda's in the hospital, honey. She went to bed. She her pacemaker, the site where her pacemaker is opened up from that hematoma. Yeah. It had so much blood underneath that her stitches popped open. So she had to go to the emergency room because she was bleeding out of her arm and they drained the hematoma and they she said something's wrong with the cord now. They might have to do something else to it. And then they're going to sew her back up. So she's in the hospital right now. Yeah. Mm. She's going to be okay. Sheer, do you live next to the ocean down in South Africa? He's an Indian. Ooh, in South Africa. Not, not in India, I'm in Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh, you're in Pakistan. Not in I South thought, Africa. I thought it was South Africa. My bad. I'm sorry. No, Mr. Big Pipes, I got. You think my skin looks like a, a South Big African? Mac meal and two <laughs> double cheeseburgers and it ended Indian, up costing thirty-five fucking bucks with tip. In Durban, South Africa. Durban, South Africa. Like I wish I was there. And I didn't expect your sympathy. The, the The point is, is like sometimes I have to order DoorDash because nobody's here, and uh, I can't drive right now because my eyesight's too bad. So I have to go do what I got to do. And if you I have to pay a few extra bucks, I'm not so pressed for cash that I can't fucking pay it. I just think it's a gross fucking misappropriation of funding. Lord have mercy. Shannon, I can rip somebody off like that. Taco Bell? Do you ever order Taco Bell? I order different things from DoorDash. A lot of times I'm fucking a load here. And I don't want to fucking cook. And I can't drive right now because of what's going on with my fucking eyes. So, What about Subway? I don't like Subway here. It's a, the Subway here is fucking trash. They have the new sidekick. I know, but their meat's always trash. I don't know what that is about the Subway here in town. I don't know if it's like too hot or something, but their meat always makes me sick. The chicken or the or the, the beef? All of it. I don't know if it's that I kept at the right temperature or not. Oh, my God. Yeah. It always makes me sick. Hey, turkey baby. How are you, sweetheart? And you know, one thing okay. I want to accept that you speak very politely. I like your speaking. Oh, thank you. I, I, I don't always speak politely. I'm known for having a, a <laughs> mouth like a sailor. I do have the ability to do so when I choose, though. Obviously, it's a choice. Some, as of everything. Sometimes, on the you, sometimes you get furious on the people on chat. You kind of have to here. You can't afford to be weak here in any way, shape, or form. People all see strengths and weaknesses. It's different things here. But the fact of the matter is, is yes, every, I'm always every, true to myself. I'm always true to what I believe. I always stand by what I say. And I don't engage in things other people do here, no matter how ugly they get towards me. But I do hope that they self-reflect. Uh, I do hope Shannon, they self I have a question for you. How what? I said I have a question. I uh, listen the word fucking too much in the chats. What is it a slang word or what it does mean? It, do you use it for uh, to someone when you are curious on him or her? How you use that word? Because I haven't understand that one yet. I know the you beginning know of fucking, fucking word, but now which word? It's it's a slang. You fucking don't know what fucking you use that word too much. It's is it a slang word or what? Oh, what word? Friend. Fucking. What does it mean? Yes. He doesn't know what fucking means. Okay, so I I, I know the meaning of fucking, but you you guys <laughs> use that word too much. There's two ways that you use 
There's two ways that you use fucking over here in America, okay? One way is a slang word to describe two people having sex, okay? So if you say, okay. oh, those two people I, are I fucking, know that, you mean. that means they're having sex. But when I'm saying, I don't fucking okay. care, that just, it's just like a reiteration of fucking, oh, God, it's just a reiteration of like, hmm. I don't know how do I how do I describe it's it's like an illustration to words where it's it's a harsh word basically like if you say I don't fucking care it means you don't give a care in the world you know what I mean you yeah. just it's just okay. like powerhousing the fact that yet that what you're describing as your feeling is exactly that times ten okay so but it's a curse word oh, okay so like, it's really like you don't like that. Or, yeah. But there's also motherfucking. <laughs> well, that has the same connotation, doesn't it? It kind of means like, you know, you motherfucker, <laughs> son of a bitch, you know. It's like, they're curse words. Isn't okay, the word fucking an adjective? Yeah, it's it emphasizes your dislike for the subject. That's good, hey, that's a better description. It's basically used as a, you know, a text decoration. That's the best way I could say it. And it and it emphasizes your dislike for something. It, it drives it home. Or you can say, you're so fucking awesome. And it means you're like awesome times a thousand. Or you can say, you're so yes. fucking stupid. Yes. And it means you're stupid times a thousand. You know what I mean? It's just a real emphasis on whatever word you're using to describe what you think. Okay. But if, if somebody you, says, if hey, those two people are fucking... One. Then it means that they're having sex with each other. Mm. I know that meaning, but when you use the, it's it's like a giving oh, the strength to the mean. next one, right? When you the I fucking don't care it means you yeah. million sign don't care anybody. Right. I don't fucking care. Like fuck you, fuck you. Mm. I don't care. Fuck you means like go piss <laughs> off, like, go away. You're a dumbass. I don't care about what you think or do. Fuck mm. you, man. Go fuck yourself. These it's are not, not a literal these are thing. Not it's, words it's, for the kids. it's cursing. It's cursing is what S it is. SA, these are not words to introduce to the kids. No, I think he's figured that out. Yeah, this is definitely not stuff you want to talk to your children about. That's for sure. This is adult shit. Oh. It's of sexual nature want. and it's, it's of cursing. So none of those things should be around children. It's, it's not just slang, it's cursing. You know what I mean? Like I could say, Sheer, what's up, boy? Adult content. Change the subject. Sheer, do you use wax on your mustache to make it curl up like that? How do you do that shit? I use the oil. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm gonna grow one of them. I use the oil. That's very difficult to, to do. You gotta really like grow that. it out. Yeah. I'm gonna work on one of them this summer. There, there was a play. picture. I never look into the origin <laughs> of that whole labeling of curse words versus proper words. There, there I guess a... that would be something that would be rooted in the curse word, right? Like that's what witches say in order to fucking curse people their words of significance type thing they have meaning behind them or emotional uh manifestations or intentions behind them therefore they're curse words they're said in disdain but see not all well i guess every curse is a curse right so like if a witch is doing it and they're cursing it's a bad thing i got you but i was gonna say I not like all spells are bad spells i like polo shirts too what do you think about witchcraft merman not a fan. Not a fan. Although I'm, so? not a, I'm not a fan. What about of paganism? Do you I'm consider not, paganism witchcraft? The, the ignorant people up in uh, New England that just burns women at the stake because they looked at they they acted funny. Not a fan of that. But but do you consider a witch a pagan? Because of your Christianity roots, or do you just consider it a totally different thing altogether? 
if they're openly saying they're a witch and a pagan th there is a combination of mental illness well you know pagans worship you know uh nature nature and as long as uh, that's basically anyone, where the root for witchcraft comes from you know as and long they're as nature they're not, lovers and they use air water and earth in order to as evoke long as spiritual not, fucking as long as they're not harming anyone i don't give a fuck what they do what what about alchemy what do you think about alchemy have like you ever looked into that like scientists no like alchemy uh, yes, I mean, alchemy is science, but it's, it's the science of organic material. What do you mean, like a... a like homunculuses a and a a mixing chemicals to make something else come to be. <clears throat> alchemy, what's, magic. What, what's that saying where they, they've magic. always sought to turn things into gold? Alchemy, they want yes. to turn things into gold. Like if you got the pox in the Middle Ages, they put a special cream on your cock. Well, no, it was more in. I don't look it, at it, that it's more into precious metals and organic materials and stuff like that being merged together to make some yeah, kind it, of. It's like a pharmacy in the Middle Ages. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's still being used today. You know what the pox is, right, Shannon? Mm, the smallpox. Put the pox on you. I'll put the pox on you. You got if you got pox, then you need you need the 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 special treatment of the um the, the yes transmutation alchemist. indeed. It's like a pharmacist in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, but like I mean, this this is I mean this involves transmutation, like they said, transmutation. Uh, you know, the changing of metals into organic man it's it's a whole i i don't think you understand did you, you never watch like any kind of cartoons at all that had to do with like alchemy i've seen like, plunkett, plunkett and mclean and i've seen the movie warlock what about full metal alchemist did you ever watch that anime no you should watch that you should check no. it out it's called full metal alchemist I think you might enjoy it, actually. Okay. I think you might actually really enjoy that series. It, it, you, I think you'll find yourself intrigued. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. It's a classic anime. Everybody knows what what anime that is. Go check it out. It, I think it'd be right out your fucking alley. I think you would really like it, actually. I think it would really tickle your fancy, honestly. Well, I saw the, I saw the movie um, Heavy Metal. No, this is completely different. This is completely different altogether. Watch the anime. I'm telling you, Mermaid, just go Netflix watch show. it all the time. Instead of watching something weird about donkeys and boys, watch Full Metal. No, uh, no, 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 no. I think you'll don't, really, don't, really enjoy it. I'm just, go, I'm just telling you sincerely. No, I think you'll there. really enjoy it. Don't go there. Don't say donkeys and boys. That was a Vice documentary. That was a legitimate Vice documentary. That is one of the most popular documentaries on YouTube. It is even Wiki knows about it. Even it's, Wiki, it's it's a very popular anime. It's it's a very big one. It's like Ghost in the Shell. You should check Ghost out Full Metal. Oh, I like that movie. It would it would it's a very intellectual. Scarlett Johansson was anime. in Ghost in the Shell. I have that movie, and on, it's also very. Station. It's got a very good heart wrenching story too. I think you'll like Owl. I think I mean I, I just think that there's a lot of characters that you would uh, identify with. I bookmarked it. I bookmarked it. You should really check it out, Merman. I, I'm telling you, you would like it. I bookmarked it. Some popcorn it. and get yourself a big glass it. of something and sit down and actually immerse yourself in it. You'll dig it. it it's even a, a time period. I, I love the movie Heavy Metal, by the way. One sec. Heavy Metal was a good movie. I mean, it was the but you know it's. It's very sexual. This is not a sexual movie. This is about two brothers. And they don't have sex. They're younger brothers. Well, I don't want to see that. Yeah, well, they're, they're, there's no sex in Full Metal Alchemist. It's it's purely about... You, you'll see. It's an endearing story coupled with very intellectual concepts that have to do with alchemy and a, a historic time period and it's it's you like it you I'm telling you I I I I'm pegging you for it I think you're really gonna like it you're gonna get sucked into it I know I did 
I enjoyed it. You liked heavy metal? I liked heavy metal. I liked Full Metal Alchemist. Mm -hmm. I like Vampire D. I like Great Teacher Onizuka. I like fucking Bleach. I like Ghost the fucking Ghost in the Shell. Yep. I liked Akira. I liked uh I mean there's a Death Note. Death Note's one of my fucking favorites. Uh have you seen the um uh Charlotte uh Charlotte Johansson? Well, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson, a uh, Ghost in the Shell movie. Yes, I have. Have yeah. you seen the Aeon Flux movie? Yes, with Charlize Theron. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have that on iTunes. Yes, yes. Good movie. So I can't believe you've seen these movies and you've never been turned on to Full Metal Alchemist before because that's a pretty big one. Same with like Naruto. I mean, Okay. I have, I have a bookmark. I have a bookmarked on YouTube. Yu Yu Hakashu. Dragon Ball Z. Have you ever been to Japan? Berserk, I love Berserk. That was a good one. <coughs> have you ever been to Japan SA? No. No. I have never been out from Pakistan. Well, it's a pleasure to have you shared. So thank you for coming and saying hello. So much. You're always welcome here. Thank You're you always fun. welcome to ask any questions of us that you see fit. No, you yeah. you, you can teach me a word about uh, that. I was confused a lot, but now I got it how you use that word. Yes. He's yes. Sometimes I misunderstand. Sometimes I do misunderstand the words because I'm not. Not very good English. I am not. Yeah, no, and I could see where that would get lost in translation because it's used in a way that doesn't have any real defining meaning. You know what I mean? It's just a a curse word, a silly word that you stick in there for posterity to make it emph right. to emphasize its. Your dislike for it, your hatred for it, or but it's not—it's not just fuck. It's also motherfuck. <laughs> no, that means to fuck your mother. That's different altogether. That means go have sex with your mother. <laughs> it's, it's abusive word in in Pakistan, mama. Because when we, when you we say motherfucker, it means we are singer. No, it means uh, they want you to go this. fuck your mother. They want you to yes. have sex with your mother that's if right. they call you a motherfucker. Or they're implying yes, that you have sex with your mother. I, I don't know the exact word, but we when we do you when we are angry with someone, we do use that word. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's definitely said out of anger. It's definitely not a word that you would say to somebody casually. If you if you come to America and you call somebody a motherfucker, you better be prepared to catch fucking hands. You know what I mean? Somebody's gonna pop you. <laughs> come up on the panel pipes. Hey, SA, you no. have a lot of weather over there, don't you? You have a lot of uh, earthquakes and things like that, don't you? That's Taiwan. No, 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 no we don't have uh, no, we don't have so many earthquakes. We do have earthquakes sometimes, but not every year. It does happen sometimes. Hey, five I to ten years. You. I'm maybe. always worried when I don't see you, hate that you're got arrested now. Now I always stress about that. Earth, where earth? I live, it's a plain area, uh, Indiana. Where I live, it's a plain area. We don't have earthquakes. Yes, yes. Mr. Big Pats, who do you think you are? I say it's yes. nice to meet you. What's up? What's up? I always Welcome like to meet to the people panel from pipes. other countries. Here's to Here's know about them, learn about them. Just up. Yes. Welcome, Pipey. <laughs> it seems like northern yeah. Pakistan has got a bit of pre precipitation, according to my app, Ventrisky. No, I'm worried about you. Very insightful, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Northern, northern Pakistan. Five, uh, got, five is there another meaning of five? Is. 
I don't know. I slept through the earthquake. I seem to sleep through fucking everything these days. I don't know. It's, uh, I guess when I die, I'm going to be asleep. I'll just die in my sleep. <laughs> I've always prayed for that anyways. We had let me go. We I'm had in my dreams. In, I'm in epic in my dreams. Things are epic in my dreams. I'll die in my dreams. Fuck, I'd love to die in my dreams. I have fucking great dreams. How my much dreams sleep do you best. get on average every day? Shannon? I slept for 20 hours. Did you really Big pipes. Oh, much. I don't know, um, Merman. I have a real problem with neuropathy, and I don't take gabapentin like I'm, people do for it. So, like, I yeah. just deal with the pain. So, like, if on a good night, I could get maybe five hours sleep, but mostly I, like, sleep for, like, two hours, and I, like, wake up for, like, a half hour to an hour, and then I go back to sleep for two hours. So, it's all fucking interrupted. I always heard that eight to nine hours is the best is the best every day for for healthy yeah, sleep. I'd say like seven to nine, probably. Yep. Yeah. Shannon, I barely get five hours of sleep straight. My sleep yeah. schedule is atrocious. I have a very very busy mind, man, and I'm constantly thinking. So like, I have to smoke a lot of weed before I go to bed, and I have to like, I have to unwind. Like I have to lay here in the dark for like a while. Day? Isn't and then when I, you would almost think though in the dark that I would shut up, but it only makes my mind go faster. It's like because I don't have anything to entertain my mind, my mind starts entertaining itself. Mm -hmm. I wish. So oftentimes I'm like just like an old lady, and I'll just pass out and take a nap because I don't work anymore. So fuck it, you know what but I mean? Weed is supposed to be sedative. Tell me, tell me why I'm on. But like, do you want to put money on it? I'll buy. I'll take a drug test. Actually, I don't have any drug tests. I take. Them. Put money on what, sweetie? This dude's saying I'm on meth. I'm like, yeah, I just woke up. Man. Oh, I don't know. I, I would think that if he was on he meth, he'd tell you. Mr. Big Pack really doesn't give a fuck if you think he's on drugs or not. He'll tell you he's done heroin. He'll tell you he's fucking yeah, snorted I, coke. I mean, he'll tell you whatever. He doesn't fucking care. If, I, if, I had, if I had drugs, I would fucking, I would do them. <laughs> See, if he had meth, he'd do it. He just doesn't. He just woke up. He's having I've, his fucking I've morning no drink. Hi, Gail. Isn't that the American way? We all do drugs. <laughs> yeah, to some extent, I think we're all yes. on some kind of drugs, prescription drugs. I've, I've been relapse. I haven't, I haven't done hard drugs in like, or I haven't done uh, heroin in like five years. I never really did meth. So, hey, congratulations. But I really, That's, like, I've been really. I'm proud of you, Big Pipes. It's it's hard to walk away from heroin. You guys do heroin heroin drugs in Pakistan. That's right. Like, Heroin's difficult to get off of. That's that's awesome, man. I'm proud of you, like for I, real. Yeah, I I shot it up too. Well, eventually, I like I probably shot it up like like 400 times or something. Do you guys take a lot of prescription drugs in Pakistan, SA? No, I haven't uh, consumed a drug in all of my life. I just try to taste the uh, smoke of a cigarette. But I find every just, single the same yeah, test. I'm there, dude. <laughs> but in Pakistan, people do use the drugs. Well, because Afghanistan has it's not it produces the most opium. It's in the not world. legal. It's it's That's yes, right they, they, they do grow the opium and you can get but nowadays they are not doing there as well. But he, he's he's a um assalamu alaikum, brother. Walik hmm. Islam type. Yeah. yeah, this guy isn't doing drugs. He's a teacher. Yeah, he's a teacher. No, he, like a, he introduced uh, this class yeah. on the captain's panel the other day, so he's a teacher. I don't think he's on drugs. I mean, I'm high as fuck. I'm I'm lit on marijuana, but like, <laughs> that's me. Fact, I, just got a, I just got a new batch of weed and it's very fucking potent. So I'm super high tonight. He's a straight arrow. This guy's a straight arrow. Yeah, I know for sure. Mr. Yon doesn't do drugs either. He doesn't even take aspirin hardly. I, I smoked a little weed today. Huh? Yeah, he's a fucking teacher. Oh, I love to smoke weed. That's my only vice. I smoke weed. I don't drink. I, I take kratom too. I started. I, I've been taking kratom for like a year. 
like I was off of it for a couple of years, but I don't know. I've taken Kratom off over. over 10 years, probably. SA, can I ask you what the curriculum is like in your school system? What do you teach? Curriculum? What's we teach the our local languages. Languages? And also the science subject. We do teach the That's general pretty. science, social studies, and Urdu, Shindi, and maths, English. <clears throat> Basic English, not uh, it's not English medium schools. That's a, that's so a lot. Of that that that's I fucking basics. hate metaphorman Mountain Man. That's a, he teaches a lot of stuff. I'm always in. I know four different languages. Yes. I'm always How many languages do you speak? In English, but how many languages do I you speak? I can speak four different languages. Four, four wow. different languages. Impressive. What are they? Yeah, what are they? Urdu. Arabic. Urdu is our national language. Arabic. For, you speak that. Sindhi is my professional language. Oh, okay. you're, are, you, are you Sikh or whatever? Or... Sraiki is my mother tongue. That she taught me. My mother taught me the language that is called Sraiki. I don't know that one. Yeah, I don't either. I've actually never heard of it. The language that I learned is English. Because of you guys, I have improved a bit, but it's still not where to go. No, you're doing well with your English. And yeah, sounds sounds uh, good enough. Yeah, I mean, you're you're able to communicate well. I, I mean, uh, there's yes, people I, that I have spoken to that message, have but... a lot less knowledge of English yeah. that are you, harder you to communicate more English with. than my DoorDash driver today. So that's the one. <laughs> At least I can convey my message in English. No, it's, it's, I thought you were asking him if he were verse cowboys. <laughs> what the fuck is that all about? Asking if he, if he does reverse cowboy. Wait, no, he was asking if you he, were, like, uh, like if he, he reverse cow. Insane mustache. I hate it, Richard. Or like or whatever. Metaphor Foreman sucks ass, y'all. They they tote it as a wonder drug, but it's terrible for you. It's horrible. That's a great mustache, huh? How do you get to curl up like that? <laughs> See, everybody's talking about his <laughs> ass. Let's, let's <laughs> give him a spotlight. Let's put him He's on time to. Oil. He uses like a special oil to keep it firm. And you go like, oh, I, I use the mustard oil. Mustard, mustard oil. oil. That's the eye of Newt. Yes. Like witches use, huh? Look, look at look at Big Pipes' his facial hair. It's pretty fucking epic too. Get it, porn stash. <laughs> Loving he it. Could, he could do that. He could get that. Why are you so weird, Big? You're so weird, Biggie. Why are you so weird? You need to fucking lick in your fucking stash. Don't pin the edges. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, don't I need to smoke another joint. <clears throat> get, get lit, big. Get lit. They oh, actually have shit, contests man. in the United States where people grow Speaking of lick lick, where the fuck is lick lick, y'all? hope he's okay. You mean Tom Flash? Yeah. I don't know. He went to bed early, so I don't know. I did see. You know, look looks usually up this time of night. Hey, Merman, can I can I see your doll collection? Do what? You, do you really want to see my? my what? Uh, don't yeah. ask questions you don't want the answers to, sir. <laughs> Star Wars what? Black Series. Um, What's your most expensive uh, trading card? Or your most um, valuable? It's in the other room. I have a Cal Ripken rookie card. I, know I, oh, one. I have a I Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. I have, uh, I have a Cal Ripken. Hi, David Sheffield Tommy, baby. rookie card. There's Tom Flash. I, I have an 82 Don Ross set. Uh, that's Come never on, been Tom. opened. So you got to keep them in mint condition. You know, I fucking yeah. love me some lip right, I have the sealed 82 Don Ross. Uh, See, this is why. Come on, late at night. for like the, hit the and liquid. 89 and 90 my upper deck. Uh, baseball my, park. Like, my chat baby. Oh, Rick and Junior used to come into my work all the time. Um, 
because his daughter went to school at the the city I was working in, and he would come in there all the time. He was in Boulder, and uh, yeah, he's got really striking eyes, man. You can just tell. Oh, he like, does. Yeah, eyes. yeah. He's a he's a co-owner of the Orioles now. He owns cool. a percentage. Yeah, like he's got cool. eyes like a wolf, like. You know, like those I, those wolves that have pretty Major eyes. Major beam eyes. <laughs> you know what I think? I think Pipesy would Mr. like that. I, I think he would like to be equated to Burt Reynolds. Are you down to be equated to Burt Reynolds? Oh yeah, I get that all the time. I'm not even like done up. Come on, I just broke up. I get, it, I get, it, I get it all the time. I like it. I Do actually you know watched a meme the other day of this guy, and he was like driving a '65 <laughs> Mustang, and he was dressed you, like you, and he was like, "It was like I'm old school," and I was like, "Damn, this is like he stole Mr. Big Pipe's gig, man. This is like his gig here." Shannon, um, did, did you know, know that? Look, but did you? But know he was like super look. buff, and he was like taking off mm -hmm. his shirt, you know, and like running around like a fucking, you know. You, you know, um, he was. I, 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 I'd be more. He was a thirst trap for middle age women. Like, I lost like. Did you, 20 did, pounds. you know, did you know? Did you did you? Oh Jesus! This this working. guy is talking about number seven. Number seven is given to <clears throat> Jackson Holiday, who was our number one pick for the Orioles. Oh yeah, Jackson Holiday is a stud. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh goodness. Matt, Matt Holiday's son. Um. Who played for the Cardinals? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For a little bit. Yeah, you boys talking about your balls all the time. What a bummer. Where did, he play, or where did Holiday play Matt Holiday for uh, most of his career? Let me see. I know he's on the Cardinals. He, okay, he started out in Colorado. That makes sense. He's only 20 years old, and he's like the number one prospect, and he's with the Orioles. Yeah, there's like this cool YouTube video of like Jackson Holiday, the I'm Bat Brothers, and Matt Holiday's dad like trying to hit home runs. I don't. Oh, like, I don't the Bat Brothers videos. Of those dudes. I live in California. It's totally legal to smoke weed here. As it should be. It's just like alcohol. You just have to be 21 to buy it. Yeah, That's it. Of my card they will but never even, legalize even, weed in even, even if even if I didn't have it. Like issued to me. Uh, I got some old cards. I mean, uh, if I wasn't 21 and it wasn't recreational, I could definitely get a marijuana card if I yeah. wanted one. I got some old card. This is a 1990 Chipper Jones, dude. Look at that. Chipper Here, Jones. Let me, let me yeah. put you up, big yeah. pipes. Up, up Stadium Club. Yeah. I got yeah. that. Yeah. Your cards. Oh, yeah. These are nice cards. Or I always like the look of them. I love Stadium Club. Got a Frank Thomas, <laughs> right here. Dennis Eckersley. Christian Leitner. Yep. Frank Thomas. I got his rookie. There was a special Michael Jordan card, too, that came out in uh, 91, I think, when he tried to play for the White Sox. The Dennis Eckersley in Cleveland. Okay. I can't get used to the Guardian's name. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't either. Christian Leitner. <laughs> College card. That's a Duke a Duke Christian Leitner card. I got all kinds of shit in here. I didn't realize I had these old randoms in here. How much is a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie now? It's from 83, so. Or is it 80? I thought it was 82. Or 82, somewhere like that. It's in a, it's in a case. <laughs> I haven't looked in the. I mean, back it used to be the the like the magazine where you could analyze the 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 the, uh, the, the prices for everything. But I'm sure there's some sort of online catalog that would give me a, a price. Yeah, and just I guess you know come down here buying it and stuff. Uh, well, oh, hold on, I got a bunch of loot here. I got some classic cards in here. I only have baseball and football. Yeah, Chris Weber, um, Michigan card. I heard that noise again. I hear it. You hear I, it now? I hear it, but I don't know where it's coming from. I don't either. I th I'm starting to think. I was starting to no think I was Ryan going baby. mad. No Ryan. Damn it. 
Sorry, my, my fingernails are Banana dirty. Fell. But uh, they're all dirty. Damn it. See you later, sugar. Shaq. Young. Good night. Nice seeing you. Is that my echo? There you go. Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. He retired too early. This is from. I'm not sure. This is from 1992. I got this at a card show. I don't know what this is. It's like a shack thing, but I got this at a card show in 1992. Oh. It's like, almost like a custom made card or something. I don't know. Like the back of it's just like that. Like people made it or something for the card show. Are you too, Gil? Is that Timu Salini? Fucking. Okay. I hate you, baby. Do you collect anything, Shannon? Like rocks or stamps? No, Disney, Disney memorabilia. Disney, like, okay, like Disney hats or Disney stuffies. Uh, I always get something <laughs> from Disneyland every time I Mom's go there. And, Shannon and be collecting so oh, yeah. I know there's some yeah. Buffalo Buffalo Bills fans in here. And then like people know that I, I like Disney me. stuff, no, so I have a pretty big me. collection of different things <laughs> that people get me from so, Disney. Thurman Thomas. Thurman a couple Thomas. of my friends got me like some Disney cookbooks, so I'm obsessed with them. Ooh, and okay. my daughter's got like this huge lounge fly <clears throat> purse collection. I have a bunch of hats and shirts and sweatshirts and Rick I have a pin a collection. Oh, Rick Meyer know. was a bust. Rick Meyer was a bust. Yeah. I've seen your Mickey Mouse hat, Shannon. It's quite adoring. Oh, that's not even a Mickey Mouse hat. That's just my beanie with double pom poms on it. I have like <laughs> actual Mickey Mouse hats though. I just don't wear those. Here, I'll find my most expensive card. Apparently, all I wear is ball caps. I was like, dude, I wear all kinds of hats, bros. Only these. No. I love who's hats. Your, who's your favorite Disney character? I don't know. Oh, I have to actually mean, choose yeah. a favorite Disney character. I don't know. That's too hard for me to choose. If I had to pick a favorite Disney character, who would it be? There's so many of them, dude. Like, we're, are we just including the classic Disney characters? Or are we talking about, like, now that they've added a Marvel and fucking uh, Star Wars into it? Because that's a whole fucking different thing, too. No, I'm not really big on Disney stuff. Oh. I know. I love Disney, though. I don't like what Disney did to the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. The new Dune is awesome, though. If you haven't, if you haven't seen that. Like, it reminded me of, like, Star Wars shit. But, I'll put it, I'll put it to you this way, Merman. My favorite mm -hmm. Disney movies to watch are the classic fucking enjoyed it. Disney movies. Like, uh, the, the ones with the princesses, 101 Dalmatians, Lady Little Mermaid. the Tramp, Little Mermaid. Ooh. The yeah, newer stuff I'm not so great on. Like, I, I really haven't watched the Frozen shit. I haven't really watched Moana or Encanto or any of those. I, I mean, I... Trevor Bauer sign cards. Trevor Bauer. I'm a big fan of Trevor Bauer. Do you really, Ryder? Wow. Big pipes. Are th those cards worth money? Yeah. Steamboat Willie, yeah. That was the very first Mickey character was Steamboat Willie. I mean, not all of them, but some of them are probably like worth a couple hundred or some shit. Like, the most expensive ones. But I'll be honest with you, Merman. I'm a Virgo and I'm kind of fucking oh. neurotic. So, like, I don't like uh, a lot of tchotchkes at all. Like, I, yeah. I have a very basic appearance in my room and stuff. I don't like shit all over the place. It makes me fucking neurotic. Oh. I like shit. Clean. What the fuck is that? Oh my <laughs> Lord. Fucking... Well, I have what more of these. Say, uh, is that? Probably the most expensive one right here. Yeah, that's always valuable when they include a, a piece of the jersey. Come on, focus. I can't get I can't oh. see it. I'm trying to get into focus. What god the name is that? No. Oh my god, there you go. There you go. Nicola. Oh, 
Jovic. Jo- Jovic. Yeah, exactly <laughs> Somebody Jovic. sitting on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Ain't me shedding now. I'm not making no noise. <laughs> And then these are Michael Porter Jr. These are probably worth something. He's Michael Porter Jr. Hmm. I must admit, I feel I always, like I, I feel like I'm in tenth grade and hanging out in the basement with my fucking friend, smoking weed, looking at them stoned while they're showing me a bunch of shit. I don't even. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Hi. Fearless Nikola Jokic card how much is but shannon, it? Did you no, ever, like i'm talking about oh, sports shit. shannon did you ever work like a thousand dollars or some shit writer it's not me shannon did you ever collect micro machines no i'm a girl i didn't do my, i know what they are though but i didn't collect micro machines they were cool because they were like little tiny fucking baby machines that they could I what my son was way into micro machines but I personally didn't collect micro machines I'm too old for that I was you know I was born in 75 dude who the fuck is like moaning <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is so, nobody's admitting to it look I, can't, me, I don't have anybody here I'm by myself sugar I, don't I know. can't hear that I can't hear no moaning I can't hear nothing I thought it was it's, an Indian guy. It's like merman, like like. Got I don't know what it is. It it's not shit. me. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it sounds like I don't know. Like, somebody snoring, like, or if it's a dog snoring, like, or dude, somebody. Really snoring. Like I bet. I bet you are hearing my dog. She's oh, right okay. here. She's right here beside me, right? But I. Okay. I'm, no, I'm, I'm deaf. Oh no. Yeah, might be snoring. Y- yes, mm. I bet you're hearing my dog. I'm sorry. Oh, no, sorry. no, it's fine. It's just funny because like, we couldn't figure out where the fuck I was coming. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a dog. Yeah, dogs like to snore. That's fine. <laughs> I'm sure cats snore too. Peerless uh, Panini Nicolo. Hold on, I'm trying to look up how much this is. It's not, or the one is fifteen hundred, but I don't think it's that much. This is the one out of 49. That's the one out of 10. That's 1,500. Oh, Lord. Um, so, so how um, much do you suspect your collection to be worth their big? This collection's probably like maybe like two or three grand in here, but I probably paid like, I don't know, like seven or 800 for it. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, I don't know. If I would have just bought like a bunch of Nikola Jokic cards, like I would have like made bank. But <laughs> I don't know. They were I paid eighty that. bucks for that card, and it's probably worth like five hundred. There's only that specific shit. card that's very rare that is the big valuable sale. Yeah, I mean, I, I could just sell if I sold these. Like, this is like ninety ninety nine percent of the value or some shit. Pretty much is in these like five cards right here. Probably ninety like percent of the value. Guy paid one million. This is what Mount Man says. Guy paid one million for Bobby Bond's record setting ball and not worth ten grand because of the steroids. What does that mean, Mount Man? Like he Very, thought it'd be controversial because the dude was caught doing steroids when he hit that ball? Barry Bonds, not Bobby Bonds. He I'm just reading what he wrote. He got the wrong name. He got the wrong name. It's Barry Bonds, not Bobby Bonds. I think Bobby Bonds is his father. Love you too, baby. Yeah, have a good time at the store. I can't even find this card on here. I'm trying to see how much it is. You don't like In N Out Burger, do you, Shannon? Heck of one. No. Auto. Hey, Shannon, you don't like In N Out Burger, do you? All right, so if the one out of 10 is going for 1500, the one out of 50 is probably like around 500, maybe. I don't know. I can't really find it on here. Okay, guys, I have to go now. Thanks for talking to you all. Yeah, you have a good one. Take care, SA. SA, you be safe, dude. Nice talking to you.
Yes. Nice talking to Indiana, Big Five, Mormon, Shannon, and yeah. everybody in the chat. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. SA, come back oh. when you can. I will. I will. Dude, all these Jokic cards are super expensive. Holy shit. I should have bought way more. I only bought like one. I may I may have two actually. Oh, I, I was asking I was asking Anna if she like she doesn't like really like In N Out Burger, it seems, right? I don't like In N Out Burger now. Is is it because the French fries are the long lines? I I've had well, I don't like the, I don't like the yeah. French fries and I just I I mean, it's an okay burger. It's just, it just doesn't have very much variety. You got like a hamburger or a cheeseburger, and you can put special sauce and onions on it. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not that. I don't know. People make a big deal out of it. It's a fresher burger than McDonald's or Burger King or Carl's, but it's still it's just a fucking regular. And their fries suck to me. I do not like their yeah, fries. Yeah, they're too thin. I just don't mm -hmm. like them. They're waxing and weird to me. And, and as soon as they get cold, they're total shit. But you could ask for monster fries. Yeah. Animal fries, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know a Trevor Bauer card. Yeah. Trevor Bauer. But Bauer. still, I mean, all they do is dump a bunch oh, of fucking spread on it and some grilled onions. It's the fries still suck. <laughs> And it's usually a long line. That sucks, Blue Ring. Yeah. I would hate that. I would hate that I like bought all that shit and it dropped it by like 80%. And this one's pretty cool. It's got Patrick Ewing on it. It's just like a jersey thing. Patrick Ewing. I saw him in the Bahamas at a casino. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But, uh, what, Atlantis or whatever? Yes, Atlantis is where it's at. It was years ago, years and ago. Nassau. He had a blackjack table all to himself, and nobody could approach him. Nice. Wow. Yeah, like, basketball players like going there. They, they probably get a discount or some shit, because they're always going on, like, break. Like, that's, like, where they all go to is the Bahamas when the season ends. So And, and when it come, to, come time to sit around the pool... They moved back like the regular people. They made him clear out, and they moved uh, Patrick Ewing and his family right up to the edge of the pool. Nice. Because yeah, I, I mean, guess... You get treated like royalty. So. Yes, like royalty. Yes. You know, Anna, Anna Nicole Smith died in that that building. The, oh, yeah? Uh, I didn't Atlanta. No, she died uh, outside... At that casino outside of Tampa, Florida. I think it was the Hard Rock. In Tampa. Are you sure about that? Because I thought she died in Nassau. I feel like I may have heard the Bahamas too. Or that she died in Bahamas. Not you say it, but I'm not sure. I'd have to I always it thought it was. Alexa, Texas. where did Ann Nicole Smith die? Ann Nicole I know, fucking sucks a dick. Well, apparently we're both wrong because Alexa said. She died in Miami Dade County. Oh. Miami. I thought it was outside Tampa at a casino. I thought it was in NASA, but maybe she she they flew her in from NASA. Oh, here's another Trevor Bauer. It's a Trevor Bauer rookie, actually. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a quite a tragedy what happened to her. That was pretty sad. Nice Can autograph. you imagine the life of the rich the like that? Just like, I noticed that as well, Blue. <clears throat> I noticed like chip bags too are significantly less chips in there, which they already had barely any anyways. So fucked up, dude. They're reducing bag sizes. Crazy. Pretty soon we'll be eating Soylent Green. <laughs> I had another yogurt. No. Yeah, Soylent Green for everybody. <laughs> no. Hot dogs are already got 15% human DNA in them already. That's what they say. Yep. Don't ever watch that hot dog documentary, people. That's probably why that food's so good. <laughs> I know. So tasty.
Yes. Don't, Our yummy don't, DNA. Don't ever eat those big mama uh hot hot uh hot pepper <laughs> sticks in the 7-Eleven, sir. They they admit it's got pig lips and and turkey turkey twats and shit in there. Turkey twat. <laughs> Nothing like a good old turkey twat for Thanksgiving, y'all. <laughs> Called her my mama. I asked her what was for Thanksgiving. Some turkey twat. I was in the Seven Eleven once, and a Amish uh, van pulled up with Amish workers, big, all men. Big mama. They raided the the hot dog stuff. Well, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the Seinfeld episode where? They was at the movie theater and they said you don't want to eat that hot dog. Do you remember that? Probably I not. I didn't I don't want I never watched Seinfeld. But, I mean, <laughs> true confessions. I've never ever watched Seinfeld before. Really? I've seen skits of it like it, on the internet, like like memes and shit. But like I never watched an episode of Seinfeld. Yeah. I Big, don't know what I was doing in that time of my life. I don't know if I was working or going to school or doing both. But like. It was obviously a time in my life where I didn't watch fucking sitcoms because I didn't watch any of that shit. Any Shannon, of it. Shannon, this is what I'm talking about. The the big mama pick, pickled pickled uh, sh pickled uh, exactly. sauce. You got to look at the ingredients on that shit. You got a turkey twat and pig lips and shit like that. All right. <laughs> Tasty twats for everybody. <laughs> mechanically separated like here's the fucking thing i love me a fucking hot dog god bless america all right i love me no, this a is different though 100 be fucking bun like hot dog that's no, my this, favorite this is different that's what i like this is different though mechanically this separated. has got turkey twats and pig snouts and whatever <laughs> i'm dealing it, this with is it because i this is i enjoy it you won't enjoy this. Well, I, then I'm not going to eat anything I don't enjoy, merman. Mechanically Bro. separated chicken, pork, soy protein concentrate, salt, natural flavors, contains less than 2% of corn syrup, beef, paprika, sodium erythorbate, red 40, sodium nitrate, pickled in the distilled white vinegar. And water, salt, red 40 contains soy. Hey, that red 40 stuff is some dangerous stuff, man. They make my grandkids go wild. <laughs> <laughs> it Don't does give it. them the red M&Ms, anybody. Nobody give them the red M&Ms. It amps them up so bad. It's poison to give you the cancer. Listen, man, if we knew what 90% of our food actually was, we'd probably fucking vomit, to be honest with you. Well, the trick is, is to not read the fucking ingredients and just read the calories and the fucking nutritional value on the back. Well, I'm just trying to tell everyone to avoid the big mama. The big, what, hot dogs? Big mama. Stay away from the big mama. What I always stay mama? away from the big mama. Is that a brand mamas? of hot dogs? What what is a big mama? <laughs> it's a it's like a beef jerky. But stay away from the big mama beef jerky. It's It'll give you diarrhea. I have never even seen such a product in the store. It's diarrhea. It's in Seven Elevens. If you look, up, if you ever go to a Seven Eleven or a, I love Seven Elevens. I've never seen the big Circle K. mama. They'll have the big mama. <laughs> It's next to the beef turkey. It's next to the yeah, Slim Jim. Like Tillamook, I've seen uh, Slim Jim. If you uh, go to the Slim Jim section, they'll have the big, they'll have the big mama next to the. Uh, are you talking about those pickles? That shit's poison. <laughs> are, you're talking about those pickles, right? It's not beef jerky. It's pickles, right? The big mama pickles. It's pick. It's not a pickle. It's a, it's 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 like chicken shit. I've never seen that before in my life. I just gave you a picture. I'm going to look for the big mama. I've already go to to when I'm on my phone, I can't hit links or it takes me off this page. And then I have to log Don't back in. The, do not eat the big mama. All right. I won't eat anything called big mama. It doesn't sound appetizing to me anyways. It's poison. All right. Well done. Fair enough, as, as Rex would say. Yeah. Yeah. 
All good. Yeah, everybody don't eat the big mama. Merman said so. I kind of oh. thought uh, I kind of thought Pipesy likes the big mama. What? I kind of thought you liked the big mama. What does that mean? Yeah, you know, little little bit more pushing for the cushion, a little bit more cushion no. for the cushion. No, I don't know. I like skinny girls. You like skinny girls? Thick girls, like with abs and like muscle and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you don't like skinny girls. You like thick girls. No, I'm just like I don't know, like a like a fit a fit person. <laughs> I don't know. I've never. I don't know. I've always been kind of like weird about that. I, guess. I mean, I probably could like someone, but I'm just not. I don't think I could get a boner like with a fat chick. So you're very visually inclined. They have to have like beautiful bodies. So the face doesn't matter, only the body. Just turn. Yeah, I'd say more of a body guy than a face guy. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you can't really change your face, but you can control like you know your diet and fitness and shit. Interesting. But what if you are like skinny, but you're not like fit? You're skinny because you're just skinny. What well, about that? that it takes discipline and stuff to like not overeat and whatever. No, I don't know. Like some people are just fucking born with good genetics and they have a fast metabolism and they're always skinny. You know? Yeah, I mean, it still takes self control. Like, I've, I don't know. I've, I used to weigh like over 300 pounds in high school. So I lost 100. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So freshman year, freshman year of high school, I weighed like 305 pounds. Senior year, I weighed 130. So, wow. Yeah. What do you weigh now? Hi, like Sophie. I probably. Uh, Say again, I couldn't hear you. Like 185. That's not bad. I'm, I'm wow. six foot three. So. You lost a lot of weight, dude. Yeah, yeah but good. because it was that because you were like abusing drugs or did you like go on a diet? I was like 13. Oh, okay. 13. No, I just got it on diet. Like, I don't know. That's uh, cool, man. It's like I, I grew up with like crazy parents and shit that would just like. Uh, they're fucking crazy. And part of like the overeating was like part of the their narcissistic abuse and shit. But mm -hmm. once I, I started like getting away from my mom, um, yeah, I lost the weight. So but now I'm living back with her and going crazy again. So I'm sorry. Big I'm sorry. That's fucked up. Three hundred and thirty pounds, that's a lot of weight, man. Yeah. Well, I, it's probably like three hundred and five was what I maxed out of. Or at least I could have been higher, but that's the last time I weighed. And then, so well, I just said I lost 170 pounds in like two years, two and a half years or something. You look good now. Thanks. It was like yeah, 20, for real. 25 years ago. So. Whatever. It's like you said. I mean, it, especially if it stems from a psychological thing or a trauma type situation, it's a, it's a way to comfort. And it's very hard to break a habit that that comforts you, you know, yeah. uh, food is well, definitely a way to feel in control or out of control, whichever way you want to take it. And it's well documented that people have eating disorders and have a, a tendency to overeat, to self-soothe when they've suffered kind of some kind of trauma. So it's, sure. that's no surprise to me. And I'm, I'm sorry that you, that was a part of your life. That's terrible, especially at that young age. Yeah. And I yeah. suffer from, I, I mean, I don't have eating disorders, but like, you know, I mean, I, I'm human too. Like, you know, I, I've, I've lost part of my leg. I was normal for 44 years out of my life. Okay. So it took me a minute to fucking get over that. It, it looks de deformed now to me because I'm used to having a leg, you know? So when I look at it, I see deformity. Now, some people are like, eh, it doesn't fucking matter, but like, we're all human, right? So we all have these things happen and unwillingly or like traumatized by them, even if we we're strong, you know, it's shit happens, you know, whenever something deep like that happens and you suffer some kind of other consequence from it, it always sucks because it's a hard habit to break. It's all you want to do is escape whatever that feeling. I'm going to do some curls for, uh, for blue ring. That's a good idea. I want to grab some water too, actually. Yeah, get some water. 
would you eat would you eat a bacon a donut bacon cheeseburger no yes <laughs> no i'll try anything once yeah it's instead of the 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 roll it's a it's a donut oh. that's your dog indiana that's what we were hearing. it it has to be she's a pug they have breathing like yes yeah. I can't hear because I got these here phones on, but you all probably hear. Oh my she, dear Jesus! Yeah, she's, she's my baby. It's a pug. Pug, yes, a black pug. Oh, yeah. Those Our, are fun. Those are funny little dogs. They don't like to get their feet wet. They don't like to go out in the rain. They're more it's of an. A, they're an indoor dog, right? Pretty much, yes. They can't tolerate heat very well. Yeah, she's my baby. I, I get her up here and let you see her. Go. Baby. I'll do like 10 of them or something. <laughs> this is uh, for blue ring. You got the tongue sticking out like <laughs> Yes, yeah, she has her tongue sticking out. Uh, I've been holding this thing. <laughs> I've had dogs all my life. I'm already struggling. I've always been a cat person. My wife has a cat that's just like, well, he's a, he's outrageous. That's All what right. he is. This one might be easier with my left hand, actually. Because I was holding that weight for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is actually easier. You need to eat before you start drinking, Biggie. I'm sober right now. I know, but I, I'm just saying, I know you're going to start drinking here pretty soon. So, like, you need to eat something, man. Eh? I'm probably not drinking until, like, or if I even drink tonight. I don't know. You always drink, Biggie. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, if I if I drink, drink, I'll drink at, like, like, 6 p.m. or something tonight. Not for, like, 12 hours. All right. But I don't even know if I'm going to drink tonight. Why not? It's Saturday. I don't know. I've been drinking don't a lot. Don't feel like it? It's Saturday. I mean, I'd, I'd have to go to the store. Right for oh, you have to go to the store? But, <clears throat> actually, I gotta, like, record some music and shit, too. I wanted to do that sober. I hear ya. I mean, I like playing Ooh. when I'm drunk, but this is for, like, a professional thing, so. Nice. Like, like for your own professional portfolio or for like a professional. Uh, sort of, or I'm talking to the guy in, in an outlaw country band and um, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like an audition or something. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. On Craigslist. Gotcha. Good luck with that. <clears throat> Seriously. That'd be a fun endeavor to get into, right? It's a good creative, musically inclined thing to positive thing to get involved in. Music's dope, man. It helps people fucking, you know, sort to all kinds of things. It, it, you know, I mean, they say that people that listen to music while they're doing mathematics get, you know, like 30% more achievable cognizant the re retention of of that that equation so like there's all kinds of things that music helps enhance i think that's a good thing pipes i hope you get it like for real be fun go do your thing chicken wing yeah i think it'll be great go live la vida loca I'm like outlaw country is like a fun genre to like you know, it's like bikers and drinking and like that, you know. Yeah, no, I would fucking kill myself, but that's just because I hate any kind of country genre usually. Like, but uh, you know, I mean, like, I think it's cool that you like it and it's what you're doing, and well, everything I've heard you play is cool. So, you know, go do it, man. Get down on that shit for reals. I'm all for that. Oh, Fuck, thanks. I hope you get it. Like, for real. And then I can always say, oh, look at I know Mr. Big Pipes before he was a big fucking celebrity superstar. 
Oh. Even though he was saying he was back then. I kind of am. You're not, but it's it's cute. You think so? No, yeah, like I've like I've been recognized in public before. Dude. Like what <laughs> by whom? Really? Um, yeah, a few times. Like for like <laughs> videos on the yeah. Pipesy, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a silly Billy. Come on. Well, all right. Like, I mean, like my videos get like as far as impressions go, like like well over a hundred thousand a month. And that's well, you have like over five million views on your profile, so of course you're gonna get more impressions. Yeah. So it's just. But, like, who, but who cares about that? Like. No, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> five million views. I don't know, Pipesy like, baby. I'm a, like, I'm I mean, a micro niche inter micro niche internet celebrity micro niche um that's you know stretching it a little sweet <laughs> it totally is dude i got like i got the it's a little overreaching it isn't it i think you gotta have like two thousand subs or some shit you do have two thousand subs yeah hey for, for the to get to be a micro niche internet celebrity oh oh you have to hit two thousand to be a micro yeah. micro niche <laughs> okay mr big pipes do you made make those rules sugar do oh, you make so money? Crazy. Do you make money off your views? Yeah, I made, I made a decent amount of money. Yeah. Do you really? Holy like, shit! Like not not anymore, but I like there's a point I made like over ten grand in a year, so I just off ads. So well, like, hey, like ten cool. grand is that's nice money if you ask me. But um, I'm not getting that anymore. I want to go to Jamaica. Can I go with you guys? Well, damn, everybody, God, we're the presence of a micro niche celebrity, y'all. Ten thousand dollars, man. That's a that's to me, that's good money. Oh, yeah, just that's saying. great. Oh, it's kind of like, but then it stops, and then it, like, all, nice. it all got taken away from me. So it's like, it got, oh, take, it oh, got taken Pisces. from you, yeah, or just like that. It the video just stopped like getting or the videos just stopped getting in the fucking algorithm and shit. So that's really? why I'm I don't know. I'm doing more like streaming lately just because I'm I'm being really lazy about it. Like, yeah, I'm not really putting out good content. But I'm actually getting more subs and shit than ever. Like but it's a different thing, you know. Wow. Ten thousand no, dollars I, I mean that's good money. I don't care what people say. Yeah, so it's like I'm a professional. Yeah, I love you, right? Hey, please. <laughs> Hi, co hanger abortion. Um, paid in dino nuggets. That's fabulous. I don't, I don't know. Like, I've never tried to raise any kind of money or be any kind of social media celebrity. I'm just a fucking nerd over here, man. You know? Shannon, you're a celebrity. In my own in my nerdy heart. ass shit with my nerdy ass friends. It's all good, Pipes, you know? Here, you can be a regular fucking nerd just like me. You know what I mean, dork? It's all good. You don't have to be anything special here. We're all specials here. <laughs> it's funny. You make me laugh, Pipes. What's going on with you, man? Why Why are you so fucking goddamn funny? What's, what's the deal, bro? I don't know. I, just, I yeah. try to be funny. I like. I try to like operate and like, like especially like if you watch my like drunk streams when I'm on Discord and shit. Like my last show was fucking <laughs> hilarious. Sometimes, man. Fucking hate Discord pipes. Oh, fucking well, hate it. Just, I'm like, not gonna I'm, lie like, to you. Trolling people the whole time and shit. Like when I'm on there. See, yeah. I'm very clinical and dry on some occasions. I don't always like the trolling that you fuckers do. I think it's stupid. <clears throat> No one trolls Discord like I do. I'm, like I'm totally like a sapiosexual. I like strategy yeah. and smart remarks. I like yeah. sarcasm and sexual innuendo. I'm not so much into the fucking dumb fuckery and the bullshittery. Well, I never and I'm like not so into anything. the fake fuckery at all. You know, it's like I'm not in. It's kind of over exaggerated. It's like jackass, but without the fucking goddamn flair of having Johnny Knoxville in it. I don't know. You know. Mm. So Good God, I'm know, so I, I'm not saying that that's not a brand that y'all push and people are attracted to it. I'm just an old bitch and boring. And Shit, that's not really my flavor. 
sweetie pie. Like when I think back, I get off on like intellectual shit. Like, afterwards, like I'm just people like, that scream no. the n word to me aren't fucking impressive. I don't do that. I've never done that before. I never said you did. I'm just giving you an example. I've never like crossed the line with like doxing or saying the n word or like. You know, I don't really, I try not to cross the line. I feel like I've crossed the line with you a little bit, but you were like down with it, kind of. Like, <laughs> I'm not actually gonna fucking flip you over. Let me down and ask you later. <laughs> I never assumed you would, sir. I just thought it was. I just thought it was so absurd. I thought it was funny. Was, uh, Nightmare man. Sure. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> He really doesn't hear that. He's deaf. I'm not sorry. He can't hear it. He doesn't realize how loud it is. It's funny. It's adorable, <coughs> Indian. So is your dog. <laughs> is my dog still snoring? Yes. Bobby. She's my Bobby. Cool. Well, what time we got here? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead you know, whatever they identify themselves as hate, I just don't find much value in that type of comedy and or shock value. I like people that are a little smarter, that have a little bit more panache and finesse about it. I don't... The, the racial slurs, the spamming, the doxing... The involving people's fucking families and kids. All that shit's very fucking, I don't know, uh, juvenile-like trolling. It's not even good trolling. It's no strategy. Nah, it's There's so, no so etiquette. It's People have nothing they're proud of. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's, they're not it's cool enough to get attention. Low-life shit. Other ways. Like, they, they, would, they would like to probably be, like, accepted and be cool. But it's like, they can't because they're not. And rather than improve them, themselves, they're gonna like attack other people and shit. Yeah, no, it's 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 ridiculous. Like, I mean, look, I I, mean, I can appreciate like, somebody himself, doing a silly ass gig like Pipe himself. does. Okay, like it's a fucking thing, man. All right, it's his fucking thing. Whatever thing it is, he's doing it. It's his own fucking thing. But people that are just openly fuckheads and tards on the internet that are fucking trying to hurt people in real life because they can't handle being on the internet, need to fuck right the fuck off. Seriously. Seriously. Don't come here. Don't expect my respect. You'll never have my respect. And I'm not here to fucking, you know, placate to an audience. It's not my job. I'm not your fucking entertainment, bitches. You know what I mean? So, like, you come here, be my friend, chill out. Don't care. Don't fucking... Sit out there and fucking dox people and shit and fucking act like you're holier than thou. Get the fuck out of here. It's serious, like for real. That shit's stupid. They can give you shit all they want, big pipes, but at least you're doing something. Most of these people are just fucking running smear campaigns. Churning up gossip. Trying to create a cancel culture for people that actually aren't shitbags. Because they are, and they feel bad about their shitbag fucking channel doing shitbag fucking things like doxing innocent people. That don't even have anything to do with anything. <clears throat> so fucked up. Yeah, blurring, blurring uh, seems pretty authentic. Like, I mean, I make it clear, like, when I'm drunk and I'm trying to, like, troll and be a character and shit. I say that. But I'm pretty much being myself right now. But yeah, Blue Ring. No, I appreciate it. I do. <clears throat> Always be yourself. I sleep too much. <laughs> Try to be. It's, it's fun to be an asshole sometimes. But I don't know. Yeah, but you're trying to be a social media fucking person. I'm not. That's you know, it's so weird uh, that fucking people drag that shit in there, you know. Like I'm not doing a fucking character. Like for real. So it's doesn't matter to me. I'm not asking for donos, baby. Like, and I'm not looking to be yeah, famous. I'm weird about taking donos. But... Like, everybody's welcome to do what they want on the internet. It's just, I, I mention that because people need to look at the motivations behind this stream. I have no donos. I 
don't charge anything. I don't have memberships. I'm literally I just here to fucking hang out with people and fucking be something to my friends that is somewhat of a comfort in this environment where a lot of people only have the internet to even communicate right now because they have different things going on. I You're just want to be a, a, a decent know. place for people that need a decent fucking place to be where people aren't trying to hurt them. It's that simple. That's it. And, you know, I mean, but I can still appreciate the shows on the internet when people are being, a, you know, doing a show and creating a character and, you know, playing when I got that. Like, that's, I'm cool with that. I only have problems with fucking people that are like doing these streams that are like constantly, you know, outing people's families and their real lives and trying to like throw out their arrest record. I mean, like what, what is with all that? It's like, you're so fucking triggered that you are so invested in hurting people yeah, and like their days. family members and I don't understand that. I will never understand that as an adult, how that is content, how that is accepted and uh, embraced as something <clears throat> that is content. Well, it's because they'll link up with other losers that do the same thing. And then they, yes. get validated. they validate each other. And then they like, I don't know. They just, push a narrative. That's ex precisely well, what they do. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, like, we're going to get these people, like, high five. Like, I fucking hate that. And I called their, I called their fucking job and called them a pedophile. Yeah, we got Right. <laughs> right. It's always that or they're racist. They're racist. They're yeah, racist. Well, I mean, that's another thing. Like, people work <laughs> with, like, racism when, when they have nothing to be proud of. <clears throat> and it's, like, a, always been a really common thing. It's like, oh, like, what can I? I have nothing. Oh, like cool right. well, at least I'm, i can fucking shit on this person or like shit on poor people it's like kicking puppies or like shitting on homeless people or something like if you get right. off on that you're probably like racist too it's always some fucking shit and when they can't fucking find anything on you they just <clears> make <throat> some fucking shit they pull out of context they don't ask about they're just throwing up pieces of shit from 2011 and 2017 or whatever else that they don't even understand the context to. I'm, I'm I don't even know somebody was talking about back then. All I know is all the fucking beautiful shit that people say about me. That never gets brought up. It's only like the one thing that was said in 20 fucking 11 from somebody who was pissed off about something. It's so fucking stupid. All that shit's fucking dumb. And, and, and I, I don't have any respect for that. I do have respect for, reason, so. for people who I have mean. creativity, for people who play music, for people that are being genuine, for people that are trying to like create content, but for people that are just using other people to fucking abuse for content in order to get views, no, I have no respect for you. I will never have any respect for you and I don't know why anybody does. And all I can say is I wish upon you what you do onto others so you can understand the magnitude of the shittiness that you are putting out there and stop your toward behavior. Because it's absolutely vile. It's vile to abuse people that have nothing to do with anything. And you wouldn't want that done to your family or anybody around you. So you need to get the fuck real with it for reals. Seriously. I can usually tell, like, man, playing, like, playing music and shit, if that triggers people enough to, like, make you fucking nerd rage, like, that's such, like, an insecure thing to do. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people get, get triggered by it. It's like, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I got talent. And if people get fucking triggered yeah. by people with talent. They will. Any Anytime you do something well, there's always going to be somebody that's hating on you. Always. That's why it's like. When I say these people have nothing they're proud of, like the problem with that is that, like you gotta, if you're friends with people that have nothing that they're proud of, and especially like no hobbies or anything, if you're if you if you ever do succeed, those people are gonna be jealous and you know try to tear you down, like so, because they're like oh you know they're, it's just jelly jelly spitefulness and shit. So, it's it just has no <clears throat> value. It sets a terrible premise for the internet. It's everything that's wrong with the fucking internet. And I'm not opposed to trolling. I like a good trolling. 
I think funny trolls are fucking fantastic. I think, I think a little bit of excitement's not a problem. What I have a problem with specifically are these people doing these expose streams and <coughs> acting as though they are better than other people when they are just as dirty. No, actually, the reason why you're getting away with it is that people that you are picking and targeting, most of them are classier than you and wouldn't sink to your levels in order to fucking make a point to a bunch of strangers on the fucking internet. I will never come to your streams and I will never do an expose on any of you because that is some low level dirt, Rocky potato head fucking bullshit. And it's, it's now I know why you're so easily bought and sold as a human being, because that is how simple you are. Nobody respects it. You can have as many simps as you want donating to you for the fucking gossip. I mean, the National Enquirer is the fucking thing. It doesn't mean that anything that you say is true or anything that you put out there is something people actually truly believe. There's no credence to anything you say as you sit on your high horse and are engaging in the same exact activity. Period. End of story. So say and do whatever you want. Get whatever fucking views you need. But just remember, in the end, it's you that's going to be suffering the consequences, not I, because I won't be engaging in those things. Better Man, things to like do. Mental aspect. Once you cross that line, like you're not, you can't be proud of like doing that shit. To you people. can't. You're like, no, unhappy. you're absolutely right. You know, You've lost your shit. Your conscious. Yeah. So, like, like, I mean, let's say like you can't compare yourself to other people too. Like, I feel like if if someone like being good at something makes you jealous like uh, there's a quote like oops comparisons like the thief of joy or some shit like that i think like roosevelt said that right and, like, absolutely yourself, like the person the better or you know a version of yourself that you want to be or like a person that you used to be or some shit like that that you're improving from so like if you're comparing yourself to other people it's you know that's right. And you absolutely shouldn't in any way, shape, or form. But it's not even that. You're not supposed to like covet thy neighbor. You're not supposed to <clears throat> indulge in jealousy because we all have our own special gifts. And maybe if somebody's better at something than you, it's pushing you to get better. So you never, you know, it's always your perspective and how you can mentally, you know, handle the hurdles that life throws at you. So it's like, it's not a good thing to swallow, in, you know, wallow in jealousy. But there's a lot of people that have a need to put others down to make themselves feel better about themselves. Or they like watching the train wreck because then they go, well, fuck. I mean, I'm going to watch this because it makes me feel better about myself because they're a fucking train wreck. And they like engage and in, enable in, in people to fucking fuck themselves up like Go buy cocaine from a bunch of black guys and call them the N-word. You know what I mean? Or, you know. Blogger. Yeah, I mean, they, they just encourage people that are, you know, like not in good shape to, you know, mentally to go fucking do shit for a few bucks. You know, if you can be bought for a fucking $5 hot and ready and some fucking spackle, what does that say about you, people? You know, I mean... I don't know. You can't come back on some things in my mind. Even if you try, you're still going to feel guilty about it. Like you said, Piggy. you're still going to feel guilty about it. Well, it's like, you can't like, because they're not proud of it. And they're like, not telling other people they do. So it's like, they're like, secret for the like, like fucking like, like oh. weird. I know. But the thing is, is they're not doing a gig. They're just being malicious. And they're everything that's wrong with fucking humanity. They're bullies. And they, like, collectively get together and bully people and publicly do so as if it's okay. And then, you know, they want to, they call other people, like, narcissists and stuff. But they're the ones that are creating the environment that is simply a spot, like, the fact that other people are less than them. It is so weird to me. That is the most narcissistic nature out there. You know, if you really don't like somebody, you really think poorly of them, why even spotlight them at all? Why not just ignore them and not deal with them? 
how old are we these days? Like, I don't fucking feel the need to go fucking run exposés on these people. Hell, even this much time I've spent discussing this whole matter is too much time for, for reflection upon them. But, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a public internet thing. And unfortunately, it's something that, you know, needs to be discussed more because I don't think people truly understand what's at stake, you know? You just think it's fucking funny shit. It's not funny shit. It's always funny shit until it happens to you, right? Then it's not so fucking funny. So I don't think a lot of these people are, are funny. Like, I don't either. Like I don't like. I think that's part of the thing too. It's like they're not funny people. <laughs> and they're like jealous of funny people and shit. They are. You're absolutely correct. And they tell each other they're funny, or that it's just uh, I don't know. I think that's terrible. <sighs> It just sets a shitty fucking precedence, like, and it and it makes people rest on their laurels. They're no longer trying to be, any way, shape, or form, actual trolls. They're just being vindictive and nasty all the time. You know, they're not actually creating an a fucking character or or any strategy involved in in what kind of you know outcomes gonna happen. None of that is fucking happening anymore. It's just people doxing each other, spamming each other. And fucking stalking each other. It's the weirdest shit to me. The, the environment has really changed. You know, it really has. And I don't mind, like, donating to fucking channels like fucking Channies and yours where they're making actual content. RVs. Like, there's certain RVs I like to watch. You know, I don't mind doing donos for those kinds of things. But, like, this other shit where it's just, like, exposés all the time and fucking... People making up whatever details they choose to in order to fucking push a stupid ass false narrative. I fucking hate that shit. That is some weak ass, bitch ass, fucking triggered ass shit. And it shows that you can't fucking handle your shit here. You have failed before you even woke up this morning. That's how I see it. Period. Do something. Yeah, I'm kind of over it. I agree with you, James. <laughs> It just has. Like, I mean, I can appreciate a good troll funny and you get somebody to fucking get, a get out of their hobby. shell and laugh and fucking, you know, do their things. But, like, I'm not into this fucking vindictive weird shit. I'm just not fucking mean enough and I'm certainly not fucking juvenile, juvenile enough to fucking engage in fucking seventh grade behavior. Like, mean girls at a fucking goddamn party with it's a burn people. book. It's Stupid. It's for babies. Fucking dumb as fuck, dude. I don't even know anymore. I don't even care. That's like I, I have no respect for ninety percent of people that ended up over there with that fucking bitch tonight. I just, I, I was just like, you know what? I don't even know how any of them can even look me in the fucking eye anymore. They shouldn't. That was the end all of everything for me tonight over there. Oh fuck no! I got that clip and I was like, oh hell, oh no no no! This is exactly why I don't go over there. At all. Exactly why. Yeah, the accusing everybody of being a pedo thing is fucked up too. I agree with you, Jenny. That's some bullshit. No, that's I like probably some a fucking that. pedo. That's so stupid. Yeah. That's crossing the line. But uh there's a lot of fucking like dreamers and shit on here though. I know. Those LD in J Courts. You're wonderful, Andy. I adore you. Those people are like, those dudes are super triggered by me because, like, I think they recognize that, like, I see right through their bullshit. Like, I see them as, like, grifters and shit. Like, take well, advantage. Well, Skelly came in here today or <coughs> last night, my, my last stream, and he was asking me about some shit that was so fucking off the wall. I'm like, look, Skelly, this is my motherfucking name. This is my fucking birthday. This is where I was fucking born. I've never been arrested for anything. I've never been. It, I've never been, what was it? He asked me if I was inpatient in the psychiatric ward. No. I'm like, fuck, go look it up, dude. I mean, seriously, I I don't know what the fuck these people are talking about. Seri I, I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. They just be yeah. making shit up all the time. It's fucking weird. Uh, should like, I don't know. I'm talking about something else. Yeah, quoting an abortionist, it used to have a fucking funny aspect to it too, too. I mean, that's why I like pipes. I think he's fucking funny. 
I don't know. Not everybody likes pipes. I think it's funny. At least he plays fucking guitar. And and banjo. Half these fucking people don't do shit. Yeah, Al Skelly. He, he came in here. He was like, oh, uh, off, it's like BB was at some other channel. That's a I don't know some big channel, some kind of wrestler or something. I don't know some shit like that. And I'm like, so what? Like I don't give a fuck that she. He's like he was. She was reading your your uh, criminal record and asking me if I was an inpatient. I'm like, nah, dude. I don't. I don't have a criminal record. Never been arrested for anything. Shit, I've never even had a speeding well, ticket. I got I got arrested when I was nineteen. I, I had a, but it's, it's like sponge now. I had a DUI. You know, I had uh -huh. weed. Yeah, that's a, that's a passable thing. Being caught with weed, I'm not that. I'm not that worried about. I blew like a point fourteen. <laughs> I was in the fucking hood too, so. They were, I guess she was trying to read my, I don't have a criminal record. That's, I have zero criminal record. So I don't know what the fuck she was reading, but it certainly wasn't my fucking criminal record because I have never been to court in my life. One speeding ticket, I think, maybe. Yeah, ticket. like, I, there's nothing fucking there. And then I guess she posted my daughter's cosmetology license and... Went to my kids' Facebooks and tried to tie together a bunch of shit out of context. Which I, I didn't even read the comments, so I have no idea what was actually said. But that's what I heard. Because I don't actually sub those people. I haven't dealt with them in a long fucking time. I could care less what they do. Yeah, no. It was, you know. And, and then now, like, I guess Alexandra's doing a stream tomorrow on me. And I'm like, well, whatever. All right. Enjoy your gossip. Okay. I'm gonna peace out. Uh, Bye, Pipesies. Thanks for having me. Later, thanks later, for Indiana. Bye. Yeah, no. So, like, I don't know. I mean, people are on that fucking crazy shit. I don't know. They be fucking acting stupid. All I know is I'm not going to fucking do what they do. Never. I'll never be like them, ever. And if that means I sit here alone, then I shall sit here alone. I You'll never be alone. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't care. Like, they can try to fucking play the whole fucking goddamn, you know, I'm going to isolate you type shit, or I'm going to send out the front simulator, whatever the fuck it is. I don't, I don't care. There, there's no way in hell they're going to fucking make me go away because they think that they've got some kind of upper hand on some situation. I don't care. It's not going to happen. No way I'm engaging them in the shit that they do. No way. Never. No how. Sorry. Not sorry. You're never going to get me on that because I don't do that fucking shit. And you can say that I do, and you can pretend that I do, but anybody that watches me or my channel or any of that shit knows that I have never engaged in any of that shit my entire time I've been streaming. Ever. For once. I am a sucker. Al's trolled you. He was not at white live stream. I don't care. Why well, did he troll me? What's what's the troll in him asking me questions? Huh? And what would Skelly's motivation be to troll me? I don't have anything to do with Skelly. Never fucked with Skelly. Yeah. I don't have any problems with Skelly. I don't have any beef with Skelly. I don't even know Skelly. So, you know? What would it what would Skelly's motivation be to come here and troll me? Please explain that to me, how that works in Skelly's favor. Like, you know, the weird, the weird thing is I'm being treated like I'm IP2 or something or IRL, and I'm neither of those things. I don't do things on scripts. I I don't collect money, and I don't have any malicious intent towards anybody, nor have I ever exposed anybody on anything when it comes to their private information. The only thing I've ever done is expose their own fucking words. 
That's it. That's it. Because at some point, you have to fucking go up against the opposition that's trying to dirty your fucking name. But I've already done that so many times, I don't feel the need to do that anymore. Now I'm just going to sit back and watch them crash out. They will. They always do. The never-ending cycle. It's been going on for years. Oh, who's playing with me? Spicy? Eh? Who's playing with me? Enlighten me, go go gadget. Go go gadget troll finder. Spicy, are you under the impression that people haven't been fucking with me from since day one? Because I'm not. Who cares? What what is the ultimate goal involved? But what what do they seek to have happen? But what what is the ultimate? They think I'm gonna kill myself? Mm, I'm not gonna kill myself. I'm, I'm dying already. I don't need to do that. Like it's gonna happen soon enough, I'm sure. But that ain't gonna happen. They're gonna make me lose my job. Don't got one. They're gonna say mean things about me on the internet every day, all day. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's some fucking shit fucking goon on the internet saying something about me. Who cares? Are they going to come chop off my other leg? Well, okay. I mean, I don't know what, what the ultimate goal is to push me off the internet. How does that benefit anybody? Like, what am I fucking doing to anybody? Living my life over here by myself? Whoever comes, comes. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. Get the fuck out of here. Who cares? Aw, thanks, Ryder, baby. You think so? Hey. I don't know. I've donated a few bucks here and there. Nothing much. And I don't think any of them are really considered IP2 streamers. Let's see. You know, I... I I'm trying to think if I did anybody in the RVs. It was mostly more people that were like uh, chatters in the IP2 communities. And they were always focused around people that had children. So, mostly that. Or people that were hungry and weren't eating for whatever reason. People that had lost their jobs. Things like that. I never, like, donate for content types of shit. I donated to Janny for content one time. One fucking time. And that's just because I think what he does is good work. I watch all of his shit. I mean, every once in a while, you should throw somebody some fucking tag for providing some entertainment. It keeps me apprised to the fucking shit I care about, I guess. That way I don't have to watch eight hours of fucking stream to get some kind of fucking overview of what the fuck happened. The funny parts of it, you know? Oh, I never donated to Jewel Rance and Baby Cakes. No, I never donated to her. Or Attila. You think Janny's IP too? Really? I don't know. I guess I never saw Janny that way. Mind you, I don't really know who Janny is. I just like Janny. Whatever character he is, I like. For all I know, it could be Q. I don't even know. For It could be Mike Doyle. I don't know. I don't know who Jenny is. Jenny could just be Jenny. I just know he treats me with respect. And if he treats me with respect, I'll treat him with respect. If he fucking stabs me in the back, he wouldn't be the fucking first one. I'm not going to go fucking fall into pieces over it. I have P2. Okay. You know how many times fucking 
my so-called besties have fucking stabbed me in the fucking back, dude. You know, I'm not going to fucking fall apart. I like Jenny. Jenny's respectful to me. He looks out for me. Or he gives me that impression. So, I guess, like everybody, he doesn't hate. I mean, that like, we know how the world is. I mean, it's not... It's not... Uh, it's not rocket science. I don't know everybody here. Everybody likes to think I know a bunch of fucking shit that I don't know. I stopped giving up figuring out who people were years ago. I figure if people want a second chance with me and they start over and they're treating me with respect, I'll treat them with respect until they don't treat me with respect and then I won't respect them anymore. It's just the way it is. I can't give myself an anxiety attack every time I come online trying to fucking figure out who the fuck is fucking with me from where. It's stupid. I just chalk it off as whatever. I point out the obvious. Like, if you fucking hate me, why are you here? Just go away. I didn't fucking come with a gun to your head and tell you to come to my stream. And half the people that say I talk about them is actually incorrect. Somebody came in here and they either said something to me first. And without the playback, you never see that. But it always is the case most of the time. Because I don't waste my time thinking about people that are being nasty to me. In fact, I make an effort not to think about you because you don't deserve my time. What the hell? My dog sneezing. <laughs> you okay, okay, buddy? Sweet. You okay? That's sneezing. Okay, dear. <laughs> Hi, Mr. A. Yeah, respect is a five-way street. Not necessarily with me. It's very simple with me. <laughs> I, I give it, it while you're dog. giving it. You get it while I'm fucking giving it. If you fucking disrespect me, I'll disrespect you. Or I just won't deal with you and I'll cut you out like cancer. You know? Anyhow, nothing surprises me anymore. I, hate to I expect treachery around every corner. I've watched it far too many times. But at this point, Jenny's been good to me. Dear Lord. Treacherous. So, I listen to him. I talk to him. He's my Treachery homeboy. Treachery abounds. Treachery is always a part of this thing for some reason these days. There's always some fucking treacherous fucking plot in the background. Around our corners. It's like a telenova. You just wait for whichever character is going to pop out and stab you in your fucking cooter. <laughs> you know? It's like, ooh, booga! And you're like, well, fuck it. Whatever, dude. So, so be it. We keep it fucking moving. I'm getting real fucking old, too. I'm, like, not even in the mood to entertain shit anymore. It's like, you know? <laughs> I fell out of love and fucking I was... Uh, now I'm just, like, a fucking old maid over here. I'm just like, fuck you. I don't have to deal with shit. Nobody's loving me, damn it, so I don't have to provide no loving to anybody else. Hell well, with you. know, Shen, that ain't right. You can't just say people don't love you. Well, no, I mean, I don't have I don't have no nobody to, like, uh, you know, tell me what to do. I don't have a husband or anything like that, so they can piss off. Nobody's gonna Dictate to me anything. Never let nobody tell you what to do. Oh, Ever. well, I do. I will let somebody tell me. Well, not tell me what to do, but I will take somebody's suggestions into consideration if they're reasonable and they're my partner and they don't like something. Yes. Like when it I comes agree. to streaming, like I have a feeling because of the type of person I am. And the kind of people that are attracted to me that, like, if I do get in a serious relationship with somebody and they do become my boyfriend, I am going to have to stop streaming. It's just not going to work. It doesn't matter what I say or do. There's always going to be somebody in here trying to troll the fucking sexy love troll to me. And it's going to make somebody freak out and it's going to fuck up our relationship. And I don't want that to happen. But, like, I'm not quitting streaming or any of that for somebody that I met online fucking a week ago. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I mean, seriously, it's got to be a little bit more effort than that, buddy. 
Me too, Indy. I, I adore strong people, period, not just women. They're far and few between these days, honestly. Even men and women together. Yes. We need more strong personalities. We need yes. more people to lead and less to follow. People are going to need it soon. People are going to have to wake the fuck up or they're going to die. Seriously. <laughs> Shannon, if we were both bumblebees, would you sit on the same flower as me? Why, of course, Co-Hanger. <laughs> I'd even like to have some of my honey, little sit bunny. Sit on the same fucking flower. <laughs> Mr. A. Hearts. Hearts, heart tugs. I don't know, you guys. All I'm saying is, I don't think I'm better than anybody else, and I'm not trying to enact justice in any way, shape, or form. But I know this I don't engage in behavior that hurts other people in real life. And I may have said things in my lifetime that seem hurtful to people because they're extremely honest. But, uh, you know, I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion, especially when you're public. I, I am not absolved for public opinion, neither is anybody else. So if you're going to publicly make statements and you're publicly going to humiliate people and you're publicly going to try to look them up or attack their families, you're going to have to get, you know, suffer a little scrutiny for that. Frankly, I think you should be shunned from communities for doing those kinds of things. Sets a terrible precedent. And that being said, my lovely darlings, I'm fucking tired and I need to go to bed. But I love you all and I adore each and every one of you. And everybody who comes out and listens to me and is supportive and kind, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Even my haters, like, I feel for you, dude. Seriously, you need to work on yourselves because this ain't working out for you, for real. And everybody else who engages in it, you're not any better. But I love you all, and I hope you all see the best in yourselves and start being better people. Just do better. And I'll try to do better, too. Good night, everybody. Nice, baby. Spin the slice. Night, dear. Bye.